And Gerard has like, like booty butter in his room and his friend is like, what the f*** is this? And he's like, that's what I'm banging all these twinks with. Booty butter? I, I guess it's like, you know, for like anal sex. Just, Just like, lube? Lubricant. Yeah, but it's like Call a specific lube. lube for gay anal sex. How is there any different than normal? Maybe, what? <laughs> maybe it's. I like, mean, Exxon is different from mobile. If you if you know the gas, like it's different. Uh, yeah, true. It makes the car when run spilled different. into the Gulf. <laughs> yeah. How did I get this? How is <laughs> gay booty butter different than just anal? Just, well, there's just other lube. there's other types of. But what like, makes lube, it gay? So why can't there be a gay one? Like when you open it, it's like yeah. It's, it's probably like, what's the... <laughs> it's probably. No worry, mom. Yeah, that dude is sick. Clay, like, well, oh, Clay I... made me like Charlotte. Yeah, that's who made you like Charlotte. <laughs> 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 you would like are we are we rolling we're rolling yeah. yo dog you, yo out the gate no, let's, let's talk about <laughs> no because last week y'all came in, was it last week right y'all came yeah. in y'all broke down to me the whole love is blind thing mm -hmm. I didn't never watch it never heard of it I was like okay once y'all told me what Nick Lachey had and his wife Vanessa yeah Vanessa Lachey we don't talk about her enough Charged with crimes against humanity. Yeah, like once y'all told me what they had going on and, and, and the new shit that Nick Lachey was out here doing I said, oh, no, I got to watch this. So this over this weekend, I watched the last season of Love is Blind. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't want to spoil it. Roy, you don't care. I'll spoil it. We'll spoil no, please, it. please spoil it. Spoil this shit. It's old by now. So now, so now, uh, yeah, it is old right now. But um, this dude, Clay, bro. The go. Mm, <laughs> he is by far the sickest dude in television history. That's saying something, by the way. No, you don't like, understand. Like, sicker than, like, peak Stevie J? Stevie J can't nah, hold the camera to this dude. Right. It's bad. Bro, listen, he... So I was... I, all right, so I'll be honest. When I first saw Clay, I said, oh, he's a fuck boy. Mm. Off bat. What? I just got on the radar. What gave it away? I can tell by this this pose he's doing right here with the lips. You know what it's it, giving fuck You know what energy. it was with him? Like, when they were in the pod and he yeah. was talking to the girl, mm. it just sounded like Clay was using all of these, like, therapy words. Oh, Okay. Like what he was that? like th a therapy robot. Like mm -hmm. whatever his his therapist told him, like he's going in there. You know he has words of affirmation. He's yeah, one of those yeah. guys. He had the Bible verses on deck, ready to to mm -hmm. to, to to recite. I said, "Oh nah." I'm looking at him. I'm like, then it, I'm looking at his whole his whole like his just style. I'm like, the way he dresses. I'm like, this nigga is the dude at brunch that every girl stays away from because they already done heard about him. He says the same thing to every girl, but it works. It no, 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 Roy. But he says the right things. Like, yeah. He's oh no, very, I know these guys. Yeah, bro. And Maul, he was like, he's the type I, of people that go to therapy. Just to learn how to manipulate more. No, and they're not. 100%. They're not dealing with their Don't trauma. The they're learning 100%. how to manipulate. Listen, I've been DMing this nigga the last, for the last three hours. Had no idea he was following it worked me. On you? He told me he was a fan. He was a supporter for years. I said, "Word." I said, "I right, fuck all that." You the sickest dude in TV history, bro. <laughs> thank you for the support. Clay. I just feel you. Yeah, thank you for the support, yo, Clay. It's all love. Thank you for the support. But you the sickest dude in TV history. So I'm looking at them the whole time. The other couples was cool, but I was focused on 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 on, on Clay and AD, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is them. So once they get out of the pod and they decide that they can see each other, right? AD comes out. She has this dress on, right? Showing the body. The frame is crazy. A body. She uh, looks great in the dress. She looks, yeah, she looks great here. So AD, I, so Clay, I already know. I'm like, all right. He saw her. He was like, oh, yeah. Thank, like, thank God. Oh, he all in. <laughs> He's all in. I'm like, yeah, he all in. He got he seen that chocolate. He's like, oh, I'm all in. As they started hanging out on like the 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 vacation, right? Mm. I'm noticing shit. I'm like, this dude ain't gonna make it. Like they not gonna make it to the wedding, right? I'm like, there's no way they're gonna make it. Well, I'm what like, were the tell all signs? I just felt like she was gonna start seeing through, like, oh, you're one of those guys. Yeah. Like I, I just thought she was gonna start seeing through it. Like, yo, you're one of those guys, right? But he tried. No, he tried. He 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 tried. But but I was yo, I was so when they actually made it to the wedding. Yeah, that I was, was like, too oh much. shit! Like they surprised. Like I, I did not think they were gonna make it that far. He, yo, Clay got his mom's there, mm. his pops. You could tell he was he was out in the streets. He, he giving this nigga his all mom type and of pops riddles. Do not fuck with each other. Ironically, though, I feel like that is a fuck boy move. What to just always have your parents around to make you look like you're this healthy? No, 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 oh, no, no, no. His parents weren't no, always. No, around. no, no, no. His parents, <laughs> his parents weren't always around. No. Okay, but then his pops walked in. You know, his son is ready to get married, so then his pops comes in and he's talking to him before the wedding. But his pops is one of those dads that talks in riddles. Okay, you know, one of those guys that just yeah. you could just he told him how to manipulate. His whole, yeah, he his told him how to manipulate. Whole life is just one big mistake. Okay, yeah. He's one of those guys, right? <laughs> Got you. But okay. he's trying to make right. He's trying yeah, to yeah. know. He's trying to now. He has a relationship. He's trying to build a relationship with his son. So they walk out. Oh, wait, he does real estate and investment properties? 
big fuck. No, 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 no. Listen, you don't even understand. <laughs> I'm just going through his IG. <laughs> when I saw, when they brought in his home, when it, when Clay brought his homeboys in for the, uh, like, yeah. I guess, a little bachelor the party. Little bachelor party. He had okay. one homeboy that had the fuck boy couture on. You know fuck boy couture when you see he it. Yeah, brunch boots? No, he had, it was worse than the boots. He had the orange beanie with the white t-shirt. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. You that's, know that's, that's Lower East Side with fuck the, boy. With the, with the chokers on? Yeah. With the, with the chains on? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I yep. said, oh, bro, he brought, he brought the crew in. Yeah. It's, this is, this, it's something, he looked like he got a, the name, they have a name for their crew. You they know pro- those type they of guys? They probably say they're in their little baby era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, they, got a, they got a name for their crew. They look like one, some of those guys. So mm. I'm sitting there, I'm like, he's not going to make it to this wedding. Lo and behold, Clay surprises me. AD got a family there. They picking out dresses, everything going. The moms is there. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, they really lasted. <laughs> bro, they get up there and start reading their vows. Amber, AD, says, I do. I'm like, oh, this is fire. Like, they really going to get married. Man, they got the clay. <laughs> Rory, you don't understand. <laughs> they're at the wedding. He has on a hoop earring at his wedding. Of no, course no, this no, wasn't no. going to happen. They're Bro, at the altar. At the- <laughs> she already said yes. She said she yes. Said she said, yes, said I do. <laughs> Bro. So they're half married. <laughs> Bro, they're there. Like, they're married. They can file each other on taxes at yeah, this yeah. point. I'm like, oh, this is beautiful, man. Black love. Clay got his mom's there. She crying. Amber's mom is crying. AD Pops is sitting there. He, he got the look on his face like, he ain't going to do it. His Pops was looking like, ain't no way he going to do it. His Pops probably talked him out of it right before. Bro, when they got to him and Clay started giving the speech about, yo, Amber, you know, you've been this, you've been that. Yo, I put my bottle of water on the table. I said, this nigga ain't about to do this. Yep. He not about to do this. Yep. <laughs> He's not about to, not at the fucking altar. This is why Nick Lachey is the sickest human being. Bro. Not Clay. Clay is a product of his environment. Clay said, yo, I can't right now. <laughs> we had something to do. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, Clay, what else you gonna do? He double book? You at the altar. The, the, the pastor, the reverend is right here. They were on vacation. Maybe he booked a spa that day. Bro, he said he couldn't marry Amber in front of her family like that, yo, I could not believe he did that, bro. That that was the that was the biggest curveball. But Maul, did he not after they left? Did he not give a great reason? Like bro, he sp- says bro, all listen, the right things. Bro, 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 listen, no, bro, listen, you, listen, listen. Where DM and he said he's like, yo, but I he said, yo, bro, I thought I had the most logical. I made the he, most logical he, decision. I said <laughs> on the altar makes no. no I said you said, did, when? but you made the no. decision yeah. at the fucking <laughs> wedding, no, bro. When, when he made the decision, awful. But how he justified it was makes a lot right, of bro, sense. It made Give all the, the sense in the world. You he can't did it say the worst that time. at the altar, though. She has the dress on. Her family is here. Mom is here. Your, your parents are here. Cousins, homegirl, everybody's right here in front of you. You knew you so was. You she knew has the support you system. that girl before she walked down that. He should have done it before the wedding. Yes, I. Agree. He knew he wasn't marrying that girl in the pod on episode one. <laughs> we but know why he was here. No, but they yeah, said no exactly when they were living together because this is in Charlotte. Shout out Charlotte. I love Charlotte now. When they were living, <laughs> great in, city. When I they tried were to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to tell you when we went out. Great city. I, I felt know Clay it. was there. Yeah, Clay went to East Carolina. Yeah. State or whatever it's called, yeah. <laughs> if I had known, uh, like, because pretty much like he in the pod and they said when they moved together in Charlotte, they're like, look, if this whole thing doesn't work out, if we don't say I do's, we can still rock together. Right, Maul? He said that. Yeah. He was like, even if we get to the altar and we're not sure, so, yeah. let's still rock this together. We're still a team. Yeah. And it was all, yeah, all right, bet. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. Oh, so y'all are victim blaming. She should have known at that point he was telling her, yo, we're not going to make it to that altar. <laughs> And you but know, we still cool, right? Yo, you know what's funny? He tried to, he tried to get the, he, he tried to get the out when they were like out eating, when they were on vacation and they were sitting down, like having like lunch or whatever. He kind he was like, yo, I don't want to disappoint you. Yeah. That's his, that was his way of trying no, to like, pins. yeah, that was his way of trying to be like, yo, like, I like you. We cool. But like marriage though. <laughs> that's crazy. That's heavy. Yeah. That's the point of the show, Clay. Nick Lachey <laughs> is a, he's a terrorist. Can I we, get. I we, should, we should exile. We should exile him from the United States Why of America. I've been saying that for years. Be signing what is up the to lot? go on this show? He doesn't wait, wait. walk up to people with a gun to their head and say, "Come on, my show." These people volunteer to do this. The shit. The only dude sicker than Clay was Jeremy. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Before Yo. we get to Jeremy, can I get the logical reason of, wait, wait, wait. of what Clay said? He said that he he liked her. He was like, "Yo," but just marriage. He was like, "I'm just that, not. I'm wait, not that's, ready for that." No, that's the logical he reason. And then I'm not ready for marriage, even though I went on a show and had countless times to say I'm not ready for this yeah, marriage. But he was he, he was saying like, yo, you know, I just, 
I know you wouldn't want me to go go through with this if I wasn't 100%. So sure. let's halfway go through with it and embarrass you in front of everybody. Worst time in the world. His <laughs> did, timing was Did you the watch worst the reunion mall? Hell no, I, I'm watching it tonight. It's really I'm dude, watching I'm it tonight. You, he says all the right things. No, I'm He gonna, looks great after the reunion. Listen, I'm I'm DMing Clay like Clay we I'm like nigga, you was the sickest nigga hall, sickest hall of fame. You done the sickest nigga hall of fame by far. At the altar, bro. I mean, how do you do that, bro? He did it on purpose. Y'all know what, what he went there for. He did that shit on purpose. He waited until she said, I do on purpose so that we can be on his one of his favorite shows. Shout out to him talking about it. That nigga knew what the he fuck was he was doing. He was thinking about us on the altar. Yes, he was. He had an earpiece. Producers <laughs> talking to him. All right. All right. Now, yeah, now Nick, go. Now, now go. Now. I, believe Nick, I believe Nick told him to do that. 100%. I believe Nick was like, listen, we go even bigger for the next season. No, that's Herbert. his, that Clay was his is idea. a dirtbag, but... Either way, he was going to have to do that alter move if he wanted to get out of it. There's no way Nick Lachey Great. and his wife were not letting that happen. Great decision. And then he hit her with some shit. Wait, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because it's just, you guys got to get a taste of this shit. Pause. Hey, yo. Hold on, because he says some shit. Handsome guy. Yes. And this time when I'm not ready to give you 100% and you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want me saying yes and being half ass with marriage. You wouldn't want that. And I've said I'm not ready for that. And like, I'm, I'm feeling bad because... I see you crying. It's hurting me. So oh, that's fuck oh, boy. You? That's out of the everything. fuck boy Bible oh, right sure. there. It's just for me. Seeing you it, hurt. It's going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt oh, you. That's Trust fuck me. Boy 101. <laughs> I make that decision to you today. Smoke that. And it just breaks my heart seeing you like this because I love you. I really do. It's like me saying no was not to you, AD. Like, oh, I'm God. And that's hard for me. He's yes, reading out of the fuck He looked right in your eyes. He's reading out of the fuckboy fuck boy survivor scrolls You're right the now. perfect girl. I've grown up with you. I can't be right now. I'm not a husband right now. Cooked. I'm not, I'm not rejecting you. Oh, my God. It's not me. It's, it's not It's not you. It's me. It like but that I am, you know? I'm yeah, not rejecting yeah, it feels you. Like that. It just feels feels, like that. I'm not rejecting you. It just feels like I am. Well, I'm in a wedding dress. <laughs> this is the guy said he ice cold. <laughs> he ice cold. Clay fucking everything Clay, in North Carolina. The only Carolina thing right he was oh, missing there was. Oh, he's fucking everything in North Carolina. Right I'm now. still working on myself. I'm not a whole person. I want to be a whole person when I step to you. <laughs> yeah, I got to be whole. Because you can't take half of a man. You can't. You, you don't deserve so half of a what percentage do you think you would be, Clay? Are you 60%? <laughs> but why? 67%? <laughs> you didn't know that before we put these suits Before, you know? <laughs> before I went on a sh show based Yo, off marriage? I and I ain't gonna lie. I was waiting for his homeboys to be like, Yo, fam, I got this suit on out here. Nobody stood up and said nothing. I was like, Yo, fam, you made me put this shit on, come over here, you ain't even gonna do this? They knew they were doing that at the tailor. Bro. They just got a free vacation. Nick Lachey, the producers of Love is Blind. This is terrible, terrible for people's mental health. This is terrible for people's social. Like, this is this is bad. This is going to fuck people up in the long run. <laughs> well, Anybody that goes on this show, <laughs> back to Jeremy. Jeremy this nigga, <laughs> yo, he, 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 dumped, off Jeremy yo, he dumped his fiance. He broke up with his fiance. They was at a cookout. Mm -hmm. Broke up with his fiance. A <laughs> chick that cookout he, was in Love and Blood? Was blind. Oh no, because basically this what, is the, they were at this, a cookout? Bro, this Where? is the sick shit. This is the sick shit that they do. They put you in the pod first where you can't see nobody, right? <laughs> so good. Then, they, th a then they throw a barbecue for everybody. One. One. So now y'all all can see each other. And and like, all oh, bathing suits. Yeah, oh, we yeah. all in bathing suits and shit. One. Jessica walked in looking like a fuck. She's so oh, bad. Oh my god. Yo, bro, this is the craziest <laughs> show in TV history. Jeremy broke up with his fiance, saw the girl that he liked. <laughs> She walks into the cookout. They go to the dock, have a conversation. Yo, they get on jet skis, bro, and start fucking jet skiing around the whole lake after he just <laughs> broke up with his fiance. <laughs> I, I mean, said, Jerry, and homegirls crying on the dock, and they see you yo, can see them in the background yeah, yo, doing. I'm Jesse like, yo, Drew. Jeremy and Sarah Ann are Sarah fucking terrorists, Ann. and they should be exiled from the state of North Carolina. They're still dating. those are fucking terrorists. Wait, bro. so is Jessica with another dude? No, uh, Jessica's wait. She gonna be with uh, what's the what's what's homie's name? Because they, her, him and uh, what's the name didn't last either. They broke up. Him uh, and Elizabeth, with, uh, Megan Fox, fake yeah. Megan Fox, yeah. Megan yeah. fucking <laughs> fuck. Megan bro, Fox is in bro, the show? Bro, she I see told where she nigga, was coming from. Bro, no, so you she was coming. Where, you, where she come from? Where's she from? Tell me where she from. Because I know where Megan Fox is from. Where is that girl from? Where's her name? Elizabeth? Charlotte? What's Chelsea, her name? Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea Black? Look at, look at. What's her name? Chelsea what? Wait. That's that's Natalie Nunn. That's not Megan Fox. Bro, that is everybody. I see where she coming where from. Where is she though? from? You haven't answered me yet. <laughs> Bad Girls where, Club. I see where she's, where is she coming from? What train did she get off of? <laughs> How many stops? How long does it take for her to get to the city? Because you, you, know, you can see where she coming from. Where is she coming from? Because what's homie's name? Jimmy? Jimmy knew from the first time he saw her. Megan Fox. And that's the only reason he chose her. 
Because if you sit behind a wall and a girl be like, yo, everybody tells me I look like Megan Fox, you're going to be like, what? Now all you're thinking is Megan Fox is on the other side of this wall. Yeah. Every guy know Megan Fox is a, is, Meanwhile, oh, how, this how does was, a pissy? She looks like she's girl. smuggling acorns. Meanwhile, this was the girl he curved. That was the girl he curved. <laughs> he, wait, he saw everyone? No, no, no. no, 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 no. After? Because oh, the then, the the yeah, yeah. then they get their the, phone. Then they get the Then they get their phone. Then he got the bar. Like, <laughs> fuck. Bro, <laughs> literally. Bro. <laughs> you don't, uh, this is the sickest social experiment in TV history. This is bad, bro. Wait, so I just want to make sure Jessica already broke up with Here's her dude the and then went with the other breakup to Jetski. Or she no, was still no, in a committed no, relationship. Jeremy. Jeremy and uh, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy and, and Laura. Ann. Jer Jeremy and Laura. And Laura. And so Jeremy dumped Laura. Got, I got that. So and far. then Sarah Ann was a girl that he had got a connection with in the pod. Gotcha. He never saw her. He, he actually, this he did three, hook yeah. up with her, hang out with her in person, but he just said he just had a conversation and dropped off. Sarah Ann's home. in the middle. Laura's on the right here. The fucked up thing is, yeah, Maul just said it, alluded to it. They, when they got back to Charlotte. They all live in North Carolina, bro. So yeah. after the show is over, you don't know what they look like. You get and your Charlotte's phone back. Like four miles. You go to your Instagram. You're like, wait, this is who she is? Damn. So he saw her one night out in the club. His, his, uh, shorty had, um. Laura has his location. No, not that, not that wasn't that couple, was it? Yeah, this was them. Cause he drove to her house. Remember? And they like talked till 5 a.m. Yes. He was sharing his location. With his she girl. Knew where he was at. He came home at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> she and was everything up. in Charlotte closes at midnight. Everything at midnight, 11.15. <laughs> he said, we just sat in the uh, parking lot We just lot sat in the parking lot and talked. Till and 5 in the up, morning. she went upstairs, she went home. That counts as five bodies to me. Bro, that's, that's if, you did, bodies. if you didn't fuck, you might as well, hey? <laughs> for real. Yeah, if you didn't at fuck, At that point, you I, might, 5.30, you coming home. You're getting the fiance? same results for me. That's what I'm saying. It's the same <laughs> fight. You fucked or didn't. I think he it's forgot that fight. he shared his location with her, too, because he tried to, like, get a lie off about that. He was like, uh... He just dropped off. She lived eight minutes from the yeah, bar. Yeah, she was like, you didn't drop he her off. You were off. there for five hours. <laughs> Sick. Bro, this show, Love is Blind, the producers. <laughs> Nick Lachey, you are a fucking terrorist, bro. How are you still I'm, getting off with that? I'm glad. I've been trying to say this for years. Like... All right, now that you've seen this and we told you about the ultimatum, the other Nick Lachey show. You gotta watch. What do you it? think I gotta is sicker? That. The ultimatum is sicker. I got yeah, the ultimatum that, is I, sicker than this. The ultimatum that's is sicker. That's couples from the civilian world. Like they were really couples, before. bro. There's no way there's a show sicker. This is the I sickest shit I've ever seen in my life. The ultimatum is sicker. I promise you, the ultimatum. Imagine, Imagine being Fox. in a full blown relationship, not that you met on a reality show. Like you're in a real, real relationship. You didn't do it for the show. Real relationship. Then you go into a fucking warehouse with a bunch of different apartments and then just start switching. But how long are the couples together? It doesn't matter. Like they could have been days. Some were, some were together no, for I'm, years. Yeah, that's what yeah, I meant. Some oh, yeah, some people no, were some, together for yeah. years. Damn. It's, the ultimatum is like, we're ready to be married now. If you don't propose to me, this is the ultimatum. That's how yeah. long these people have been together. <clears throat> so it's the ultimatum sick. is either let's swing or let's get married. <laughs> Bro, that's insane to me. You gotta watch the first season. I a bunch of people that aren't swingers are forced to swing to see if they really want to marry their partner. Tell me the good result in any of that. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> who is coming up with these social experiments? Nick Lachey. <laughs> this is all Nick Lachey, from Nick Lachey's brain. Yeah, like he he's creating no, the show. No, he's no not, way. No, no. Netflix and their like showrunners and stuff is. I'm pretty sure him and his wife pitched a lot of the shit. Maybe the first one. And it, the, the storylines, I know we just focused on Clay and AD, like the first recap of this shit, but these other story, I'm so glad you know all these people. Bro. This shit is fucking No, crazy. you don't understand. Like, I was like, <laughs> I was invested. It's I was insane. in. I was in. A, I was ignoring calls, all kind of shit. I'm like, no, leave me alone. Like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> Jeremy want to date this one. He just broke up with Laura. He's jet skiing with Sarah Ann at the Swag. same I'm like, at, yeah, at the, the function. At the cookout. They I, in the fucking lake going crazy. But maybe he was I'm trying like, to respect yo. her. Like, I just broke up with you. Let me just try to out of sight, out of mind. Like, let me I just get out of the park. You. I can hear you. I can hear the I can see the smile on your the face. Fucking, the fucking, the, the rip tides are coming all the way over here to where we yeah. sitting out on the dock chilling. Y'all over here fucking doing a fucking- Synchronized uh, Yeah, y'all making figure eights all over the place. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kobe. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right here? Making the fucking DJ Khaled yeah, Snapchat. Like, and, and, and then Laura's supposed to sit here at the cookout and act like she don't hear the jet skis. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm like, yo, this is craziness, bro. This is the craziest shit I've ever. Hey, Clay, you are the sickest nigga <laughs> in TV history, bro. I cannot believe he did that to that girl at that altar. Yo, shout uh, out AD too. Demaris. Shout out to Amber. I, you didn't deserve that. <laughs> like, yeah, to be standing well, no, there. With she's you. still cool with him. They besties for the resties. Besties for the oh that mean, that mean Clay put it down. <laughs> Telling you, Clay. Yeah, that mean the that one. mean he tore that ass Pause. up. Yeah, that mean he put I it down. Fuck with Clay. Yeah. No, she liked him more after he left that altar. Sick. They were. Cool. She was on a reality show I, about a 
a pod where you can't see a person to get married. She's just as sick. I don't want to. Let's not act like this insane woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure she started liking Clay even more when he left that altar. Yeah. Watch the reunion mall. You'll like Clay more. He cooks. It's no, just I'm, an hour I'm, just, I'm DMing him and I like him more. Yeah. He's I'm got, just like, oh, all right. Let's have him on the show. I, yes. I'm down to have him on. Yes. I'm down. Hey, Clay, bring your <laughs> ass on. Hey, I'm down to have him on, bro. That's the sickest dude in TV history. I thought Flavor Flav was. Flav, you ain't got <laughs> nothing on Clay, bro. Clay to Flavor Flav. 100%. The, the he's guys, worse. The way you guys are describing Clay, I want him as a third mic. I don't even talk about Love is Blind. I just bro, want his oh, opinions no, on everything about going on. Love is blind, he no. is the <laughs> sickest nigga. I got to know more about his, how his brain functions. That takes a different type of goal and like confidence to bring a woman, her family, everybody to the altar. Yeah, and great. then be like, yo, nah, I can't. <laughs> TV or not, I think it's worse when it's going to be seen by fucking millions of people. Yeah. If it's just the fam, it's like, all right, this is us here. <laughs> the fact that it's going to be millions of people watching this shit and you did that. It's going viral. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, there's no. I don't got that in me, bro. Viral. That that's a different type of person. Because I would, I'm the guy. I would have went through with it, and then we would have just had to like call it off after. Yeah. I'm not gonna embarrass a girl like that. At the reunion, we'd be like, "Hey, we went our separate ways." Like, yeah, we didn't make it after the honeymoon. Like, we just decided it just wasn't it. But I can't. But that's at why, the altar. I that's why we that. would not be on that show because you have to be a, a type of person that would do that anyways to be on that show. No, we wouldn't make. We wouldn't make. Julia would make it wow. if they were doing like. Auditions, Julian woman. If my goal was to be the most famous person on that show and I knew going in, yeah, I could probably do this fuck shit. I can't do that. I that's my that goal. G- I don't got that gene in me, bro. And that's to a disadvantage sometimes. I think people that have that gene in them get further in life. They do. Oh, for sure. Have what? I, I think, I think if, the right. gene to not give a fuck about somebody's feelings and act shit on them in front of me. Oh, of no, people. that's crazy. All right. If your goal that is to gene get famous. Is, that, gene is, that gene is valuable, it's but a, I, I don't have these that. These days, it's probably the most valuable. 100%. Gene. I think a lot of the women are just like that too. So if you find your match in the pod of, hey, let's just try to get as famous as we can to look like the craziest couple. I mean, you found your match. Nah, then it's it, not as fucked up in well, my opinion. But it's different for women, Rory. We, women ain't going to drag you all the way to the altar and do that. I don't think we've ever, have we seen it? I don't think women, if women get to that altar, that's because they really want to get married. Yeah, and of the, it was like eight couples that made it out or like six or so, only two of them made it to the altar. And the other two were like madly in love. Like yeah, they were so in love. It yo, wasn't fun two, to watch. Yeah, that other two, I was like, oh no, nah, they yeah. really like, lo- they really love each During, other. During like the wedding ceremony, I like fast forwarded. Through. I was like, all right, congrats. Well, again, I watched <laughs> season one. There was that interracial couple. <laughs> For I got to go back season, and watch all other seasons. Season now. one, I, from the way you guys are describing this one, somehow was a little they more. They said sane, this was the best season. It was crazy. Five, there, I six. think there's still that interracial couple that's. This has to be the best. Clay is on this season. He's the sickest <laughs> nigga in TV history. What if they bring him back to the pods? Oh no, nah, they can't do that. Got to give him part two. They can't do that. And Just imagine the girl that's like, yeah, Clay, no, I saw, I watched the last season. I'll date you. <laughs> are you right Women that's dating Clay right now in Charlotte, North Carolina, or any, wherever he's at North Carolina, he, those are the sickest women. He's, he's tearing shit up. Oh, he's, he's cleaning up. Damaris, he's remember the um, LA escort? Agree. No. Love a good LA escort. Your birthday, never oh, matter. Oh, you but you're the girl I'm talking about. Love is blind. No, the actual, the real yeah. one, yeah. The, 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 so, real the real one? Yeah, the real, the real escort. So... Right before your birthday, she told me she was about to go um, audition for Love is Blind. Mm. And I was at the edge of my fucking seat thinking that Love is Blind might have an escort on there. And when she has to tell the people about her past, <laughs> how that would shift up the vacation. Oh, she, wouldn't, she wouldn't be the first. She wouldn't be the first escort on a reality TV dating show. But she's very like comfortable with who she is and what she does. So she wouldn't go up there and lie and be like, yeah, I'm just a real estate agent. Like the way a lot of these escorts do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she would have went on that show and been like, yeah, I'm a stripper and an escort. Mm. Oh, but she would have gave it up from the gate. Yeah, okay. but I'm sick of this shit and I want to get married. Yeah. Can you hire her again? For me? I'm, I, I don't get me in trouble. Okay, sorry. Yeah, those were different times. To me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Family man. <laughs> yeah, this was, hey, sorry. This was like three right. years ago. <laughs> Welcome to um, a new episode of the new Rory and Maul <laughs> podcast. I am Maul. I'm Rory. And we are back, man. So yeah, um, thank you guys for, uh, you know, laying out the gist of what Love is Blind is. I watched it. I enjoyed it. Um, didn't see that curveball coming at the end. But um, great TV. Made great, great TV, television. man. Ultimatum next. I yeah. can't wait. Let I'm going to watch Ultimatum know. now. Yeah, I got to watch Ultimatum. It's crazy how they had like to really shift reality shows. People just going to lunch and throwing drinks at each other was starting to get boring. Yeah, no, nah, that's not it. There's no fun in that no more. We can see that coming a mile away. As soon as they bring the red drink, it's like, all right. Yeah. yeah. Red yeah, drink. Why are all these colored red juices drink. on the table? Yeah, red drink in front of two people that hate each other. Like, all right, I see what's happening here. I just can't wait till they do like the Love is Blind Road Rules Challenge. You know, they always do the spinoffs. Yeah. That. Or maybe they'll take them to couples therapy. 
for the ones that made it. Oh, the Love is Blind couples therapy would hit. That would be great. Oh, they're going to need it. People are going to need therapy after this. Because this is exact. This is a social experiment. I think we all know that. But like, I don't think we're thinking about further down the line, like what this is going to do to people's confidence. Like, and the getting left on the skill. altar on Netflix. Like, how is Amber doing? Is she okay? I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about her. Like, AD, is she like fine after this? Is she like, I know you I said mean, her and Clay are friends, but now she has more exposure to find someone not like Clay. I'm mm. sure her DMs are filled with other fuckboys saying they're not, li- say, they're oh, not like Clay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm not like the other guys. Yeah, I'm nothing like Clay. I, would, I could see that you're a queen. I would never do. You like watched the reality show, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think that Clay is probably getting the. You know that there's some demons that are like, oh, he did that to her. And I got some shit for him. Like there's women. I'm gonna really fuck her over. Yeah, is I'm gonna really get her to love me. Yeah, that's what I'm it is. Really, oh. I'm gonna really get this nigga to oh, love me. Oh, he got that off. Oh, I know I could get my shit off. That's all. It's a lot of those out there now. Like he got that off? Oh, I could definitely get mine off. She's doing white henny ads? Yeah. She's doing great. <laughs> she's, she's doing white henny. Such a how hater, does she feel bro. on the inside? Wait, bro. wait, how is that hating? No, it's all right. You how does it. she feel on the inside? That's though? a bounce okay? back. Like, how do you know she's feeling like, you know? She knew Clay for three days. But yeah, but they fell in love. Great when? skin. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's when did such they fall a sweetheart, too. They fell in love in the pot. All right. <laughs> Why are you hating, it. man? Why are such a hater? I could tell by Clay's earring that he was hoping she was white. Period. Nah, 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 I ain't nah, want nah, me nah. to want to say it. <laughs> nah, nah. He saw that chocolate come out there. He was, ha- he was, he was, he was? Happy all right, her. good. All right. Nah, he was happy to see her. Like when he saw her, he was like, oh, yes. All right, cool. Like just someone nice. with that haircut, that earring from Somerset, New Jersey. I just, I just feel like he loves Gives a, white, a woman. white Rutgers girl. <laughs> nah, I didn't see that. Okay. I could have Clay fucked up. Yeah. Sorry, Clay. Still want you on the show. No, when she walked out, he was, <laughs> you saw his face. He was happy. He was, he was, he was satisfied. Nah, he was happy. Oh, wait, this was, this was the day of all the drama. This was the like. Oh, wait, you could pull the jet skis right up to the. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> bro. Right up to the fire pit. Bro, you don't even understand. They was out there. Jeremy and Sarah. So that's, and y- that's Laura. That's Megan Fox. That's the. It's not Megan Fox. That's <laughs> Natalie Nunn. Uh, that's the girl that got actually in love. She's in love. Yeah. She was She's just married. like, it was a great story. You can story tell by line. her body language, she was not with the rest of those hoes. Yeah. Dead yeah. Ass. She's in no, for the long for real. <laughs> They're all like stressed and inventing. She's like, huh? She's like, can't relate. Like, no. And then any girl that wears heels in the sand is a different type of woman. Yeah. So, <laughs> got to They were already married at that point. Yeah. yeah. She, she, didn't she had her man. She wasn't trying to impress nobody. So y'all think Gerard and Tyler should go on here? Uh, now, I saw that on the timeline, <laughs> right? <laughs> I watched the whole episode. I saw that on the timeline. I didn't watch the episode. What's it on? HBO Max. Oh, okay. It's a reality show. Was it real? Was that real? Yes. Yeah. 100% real. For those that don't know, Gerard Carmichael has a reality show, but they shoot it in a a cool way. You don't get like full reality show vibes from it. I like the first episode. Obviously, the biggest factor of the first episode was the Tyler and Gerard Carmichael conversation. But before that, At the beginning of this episode, Gerard is about to get nominated for an Emmy. Mm -hmm. So he texts Tyler, yo, sup fam, sup bro, would you like to come to the Emmys with me? And then for, we follow Gerard for an entire week while he constantly checks his phone for Tyler to reply, which he doesn't. He does stand up every night and just talks to the crowd about Tyler, the creator, not replying to his text message about the Emmys. Oh, so Gerard really likes Tyler. He has a crush on him. We'll get there. Yeah. So in between all of that, I find out that Gerard Carmichael might be the biggest hoe I've ever met in my life. Well, we already had- While he's waiting for the love of his life to reply, he is fucking guy after guy. He's on Grinder the whole time. You see about 17 different guys come in and out of his hotel room and they fuck. You still gotta get his nut off. I mean, I feel him. Especially when you're hurt and can't be with the person you really love, you just kind of have to fuck through it. Yeah. So I respect it. But I did not know that Grinder was just a fuck fest. I apologize for all the dating app jokes I've made. Mm. <clears throat> the gays are giving it up. Oh, I don't know, news. just because we spoke- Gerard is an attractive guy, so maybe no, that's it, the it's difference. It's not only that. It's, it's just the fact that he's a guy. There's nothing hornier. There's nobody than two, hornier than two guys. Than two guys. <laughs> that is true. A gay man, a gay single man is the horniest fucking species on the planet. While, while nominated for an Emmy. Oh, the and gay hurt. Oh, the horniest, <laughs> the horniest species on the planet by far. But how quick it happens, like, it's like 5 a.m. in his hotel room, and by 6 a.m., just some dude from Grinder comes in. Mind you, Gerard doesn't even have his own photo on his grinder, he just has his like six pack. Okay. And the producers are like, so you didn't even like want to know like what he looked like? And the dude like pulls up his grinder is like, no, I just saw his stomach and I was, I was ready to go. I was like, this, <laughs> that happens. That's sick. 
<laughs> so y'all are telling me this isn't Please like, get tested and that's not a gay I've thing. That's a, just lo- a casual sex thing. I've never even looked at just like a photo of tits and been like, oh, bet, let's run it. Like, I wouldn't even yeah. do that. Yeah, that's, that's not it. enough. But I keep telling you, a horn, a gay single man, <laughs> just looking at the man's navel, that, they don't give a fuck. Looking at a belly button? Yeah, they don't give a fuck. At but all. I will say, post-casual sex in the gay world is really cool. Like, they had a really nutritious breakfast. Like, they giggled. They were kissing each other in front of the producers they and go directors. They to the gym together. They just met. Like, the gays are, are, they have it figured out. That seemed like the healthiest random hookup I had ever seen in my life. All right, so he- They respected each other. <laughs> they cared for each other's feelings. And then when it was time to work, the gentleman left. So he has a, he has a real crush on Tyler. Yes. So yeah. after his fuck fest for five days, Tyler then finally replies, I think the day before the Emmys, and goes, gotta shoot, that's lit. That's his reply to so it. I, 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 I have Tyler. a shoot. I have a shoot, but that's lit that you have. Yeah, but it was like kind of cryptic. What you said is what I think he meant. I'm not available. I have a shoot, so I can't come. But it's great lit. that you're nominated for an Emmy. <laughs> so Tyler curved the Emmy for, yes. his, for his whatever his shoot is. Yeah, so then... We can assume that his shoot wasn't as big as the Emmys, right? What if it was that recent Louis Vuitton campaign they just put out? Yeah. That's different. You never Pretty know. Pretty big. Yeah. And like, I don't know, just to go to the Emmys as Tyler, I feel like that's a whole thing. And Tyler was like, nigga, I ain't gay. Like, I'm not going with you to the Emmys. <laughs> he did, first of all, he didn't present it as like, I will unalive be you. my date. He was really- Tyler is gay, isn't he? Isn't he bisexual? Yeah, he's gay. Tyler's bisexual. Is he? Tyler's yeah, gay. Yeah, I'm pretty Tyler's sure he's bisexual. He came out on the Flyboy album. I don't see, because Tyler, he's, that's, I fuck with Tyler great. I think he's dope, but that's, but he be putting the gayness little, No, he oh. just, it's just that I don't know. That's I don't know if he's line. using that as, if he's joking, if he's serious. He drops little bars here and there. You like, like, what is that? Like, I why would you he, throw that bar right I there? think a couple things can be true. I think he trolls our generation because we come across so homophobic and he thinks it's hilarious, as he should, the way he did, like, to Flex, where Flex is like, what the fuck? Like clearly, <laughs> Flex was like, "Well, why would you? Why, why did you? Why did you choose that book?" <laughs> but listen to what Tyler was saying. Let's. He's find like some, looking some, for some rough buff, necks. Yeah, buff some, necks. <laughs> to have some some rough sex. Rough sex. Sex. Like <laughs> to rub We butts. know that was just a troll. <laughs> See, and it is funny because Flex is older, so that's like he's a different generation. He, he don't like, know that part of hip hop. He like, yo, wait. <laughs> like, what? what made I'm you? Sure, go? I'm sure you had other bars that you could have gave us right there. <laughs> why would you land on that? But from what I've gathered, I do think Tyler is bisexual. I think. Yeah, I think it's safe. But I've been giving it like a, a, a lot of thought. But, but that's what I'm saying. The fact that we, you have to think and you don't know is just like, that's why I can't. It's like, like, bro, what's up, man? Like, cut the shit. Well, it's are you also really, not are you, really our business. It's, no, it's not our business. But if you're going to throw bars in there and do that, it's like, okay, like, yo, you if, if you was to start singing like that and with those lyrics, I would <laughs> be like, have yo. some questions? Yeah, I'd be like, yo, bro, are you gay? Like, I like Forrest Gump. Okay, that, fine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, I don't know what Tyler like. Is he? That's why with this, I thought this was all a stunt. I didn't know if this was. Uh, he even, he even said in um, real. which was <laughs> wait, great. Wait, wait, hold on. Me and Flex looking in the index for buff net niggas just for some hot butt sex. Mm. <laughs> he said. Mm. He said. Mm. <laughs> like. He said. <laughs> yo, that's the sickest one. Yo, and Tyler stopped on him. Mm, like, yo, nah. Yo, can you can, can you pull up? Uh, can you pull up Tyler Vince Staples freestyle? Oh, I love that one. Yes, hold on. He starts saying me and Vincent having threesomes. Vince is like, no, no, we're not having threesomes, Tyler. That's what I'm saying with Tyler. I feel like he's trolling, man. I feel like this shit is just all jokes, man. I don't think he's gay. I don't think he's bisexual. No, but if you listen to some of his nah, actual songs where he's not. Like making jokes. The I'm sorry record. How you know he's not making a joke then? I don't think he was joking on the I'm sorry record where he's talking about his relationship with his mom and then apologizing to women that he let on and did, didn't know he was switching by coasts and shit. Like he does some wordplay to say, sorry to all the women that thought I was straight. Yeah. I fuck dudes too. And on Garden Shed, on Flower Boy, that was like the song that he really opened up. That was like his coming out publicly, mm. which was in like what? When was Flower Boy? 20. 20- 19, 20, no, 17? Pre-pandemic. So he's been like yeah, open for a bit. And I think it's great that he hasn't done some whole like, let's stop everything we're doing and I'm going to make a video about how I'm gay. Like he puts it in his music. And, like Gerard. And just like, that. well, Gerard is also stand-up. Like he can do that in his stand-up and it's a thing. That's fine. That's his version of music. 
I'm talking about like they don't have to do a TikTok video to announce they're gay. Like they just put it in their their music and go about with the jokes. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> after he gets turned down from Tyler to go to the Emmys, he talks with like his friends and everything of like, I like Tyler a lot. I told him that I had feelings for him. He replied with, LOL, you stupid bitch. In a voice note, Gerard texted him like months and months ago. This was before the Emmy thing. Mm -hmm. He was just explaining to his friends how long this has been going on. Yeah. Yo, we're all have, like, I think I have feelings for you. We'd love to talk about whatever. Tyler sends a voice note back. <laughs> Wait. Ha ha ha, you, you stupid bitch. Wait, he texts Gerard Car Carmichael, I have feelings. Well, t Gerard texts Tyler, hey, I have feelings for you. Yeah. Yeah. That he sees him more than just a friend. And then Tyler sent a voice note back saying, ha ha ha, you stupid bitch. So here we are. So then Tyler thinks the same with Gerard that I think of Tyler. I think he's trolling. I think he's joking. He's joking. Like, you know, I think Ger I think this was actually a, a big confirmation that Tyler is by Gerard is his very close friend. They've been friends for a very long time. I don't think he'd be shooting at his friend if he didn't think his friend was interested in men. <laughs> like that'd be crazy. Like that's like shooting at your, your lesbian friend. Like, what are you doing? Mm. If she was bisexual, you may think you may have a shot. But if Tyler was just straight and was fucking girls, I don't think Gerard, his very close friend, would have been <laughs> comfortable saying, I have, yeah. I have feelings for you. So he then takes like another three days to try to put together this voice note to ask Tyler to come on the reality show to have that conversation. They then have it, and that's what the clip that went viral, where Gerard is trying to have a serious moment and Tyler's just laughing through the entire thing. He's ordering food. He farts. He, yeah, he, <laughs> he farts on the producer. <laughs> and then closes the door. <laughs> Let's watch a little bit of it. I want you to see that. But then I understand why he's, he curved it then. If, if, we, if we good friends, it's like, bro, I'm not, I'm not fucking with you. I don't want to misrepresent Tyler because he was joking and everything. But I could see how uncomfortable he was and rightfully so. Yeah. He's trying to just avoid the whole thing. Yeah, because they're friends. Yeah, you're my friend. He even yeah. says, like, you're like my brother. Like, I consider you family, bro. Yeah. Is that I kind of felt like Which is like a distance face. between us. I have an idea of what it is, but what I think is made it awkward. It's because I told you I feel this for you, and we didn't talk about it ever. That was, like, weird. I don't know if it was just too awkward to talk about or too... I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's just, like... I feel like you left me hanging out there a little bit like like when you said that I think I replied with like something super they chopped this up to make Tyler look actually better regular like you left and called me stupid bitch <laughs> <laughs> he goes I did <laughs> oh my so God. fucked up <laughs> yo is this sicker than love is blind <laughs> yeah this might be sicker bro getting curved and then while By he's doing man. that, he puts his hands in his face and then Tyler starts laughing at the whole room and then asks the people to bring the food in yeah. and then starts eating salmon with his hands while, while it's just awkward silence. <laughs> he's eating salmon with his hands? Yeah. <laughs> Painting your nails to go turn your gay friend down is kind of crazy. Though. Look at him offering his shit. This is so awkward. Yeah, that's pretty gay. Nah, right but wait, this gets even. Because I don't want any of that. I'm cool. <laughs> I feel like the oh, comedian in oh, Gerard would love you. this, though. Thank you. He goes, "I'm done with that." <laughs> Not gonna finish that. Oh, I wasn't implying I wanted it. <laughs> I don't know I don't want any of that. I'm big straight. Big straight on that. I'm big straight. On that, like straight on that. What are you seeking? No, I think he's yeah, saying I'm big straight. Like, no, 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 no. Wait, what? That's that's part of the hilarious. Big straight on that. <laughs> what are you seeking? In life or on this plate? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this this has to be satire. <laughs> This has to be that tire. In life or on this plate. Yeah, because I need to know what you're asking me right now, homie. Wait, wait, Paul, right? <laughs> the, next, the next line. What are you seeking? 
in life or on this plate because I'm done with this plate. <laughs> and I didn't want your dessert either. Yeah. <laughs> I was seeking the bathroom, I'm maybe? Big straight. I'm big straight. I'm big straight. Wait, I'm already ready. It gets better. Go get some of that butter. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a fart in like 30 seconds. I'm like, huh? I just don't want to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is sicker than clay. <laughs> you blacked it out. You didn't want the light to shift. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Straight. <laughs> he just Straight. leaves him in there <laughs> with the fart. It was a baby one anyway. <laughs> he good. This is satire. This is not a reality. Yo, this it's is satire. Yo, it's crazy. Why? It's crazy how much yeah. Gerard looks like fucking yeah. young yeah. Dolph, man. I've never thought of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he does. Yeah, they look just alike. <laughs> Thanks for dinner. Um, <laughs> I'm hit you. Thanks, nice week. <laughs> That's how it ends? Yeah. That's how episode one ends. So, this, oh, this might be the greatest show on TV. That's like, satire. They're like, people are like, oh, this is reality. This can no way this is reality TV. It's I have to see. All right, for so the comedy. it's not like a binge show. Okay. Only episode one is out right now, which I watched. Okay, I have to see episode two before I agree with Damaris. Are they trying to like do a spoof on reality TV, or is like maybe they're just going in and out of it, like where Lana was like real, and then it would do like magic shit, and like nah. are they trying to do a reality show that also has fake scenes that are satire and sketches? After looking at that. I because the rest of the show was very much reality TV. I mean, nah, I know that. Unless he wasn't really banging those guys. No, I know that energy that Gerard was sitting there with. I had a girl sit across from me just like that, with her legs crossed like that, like hunched over, mm -hmm. face and palm. Been there. Yeah, he's no, Gerard was dead serious. He was mad. Like, but he was Gerard trying was to. He was also an actor and a comedian. Yeah, but he wasn't acting right there. He really liked Tyler. Like, if Tyler had been like, yeah, like, nah, let's see where this goes, he would have been all the way in. But if he knows Tyler, he knows Tyler's, that's not his type. Tyler likes white guys. Yeah. He likes like 95 Leo. That's like his whole thing. He fucking rap. Gerard banged that. seven white guys before uh, Tyler sat down. And that same seat Tyler was in. That doesn't disprove my point. They could I do a thruple with a white guy. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Twink's dream. A what? I learned that that word on this show. What's a twinks? It's what gays are no, from what, each other. What, not Ma, like a, what do you think a twink is? I would like your definition before we pastry. tell you. <laughs> yes, a Twinkie, not a Twix. A, oh, a Twink. <laughs> a Twinkie is a, is a fucking uh, all-time classic. Fucking a Twink is like he, a young, hot gay guy. And Gerard has like like booty butter in his room, and his friend is like, "What the fuck is this?" And he's like, "That's what I'm banging all these Twinks with." Booty butter. I, I guess it's like you know for like anal sex, just like, lube. Lube. Yeah, but it's like a specific lube. lube for gay anal sex. How is there any different than normal? Maybe, what? <laughs> maybe it's. I like, mean, Exxon is different from mobile. If you if you know the gas, like it's different. Uh, yeah, true. It makes the car when run spilled into the Gulf. <laughs> yeah. How did I get this? How job? is gay booty butter different than just anal? Just, well, there's just other there's other types of. But what like, makes lube, it gay? So why can't there be a gay one? Like when you open it, it's like yeah. It's, it's probably like, what's the... <laughs> it's probably. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's I'm it's rainbow sorry. colors. <laughs> Comes in different flavors. Julia, stop fucking <laughs> speaking, please. Stop speaking. What makes it gay? You open it, it goes, yeah. You can open it like this. <laughs> it can only be unlocked with yeah, a just, wrist. You, you, yeah. Yo, man. It's got a sensor yo. and you just do this over it. Yo, y'all uh -oh. don't feel like, seriously. But it could be safer for the for the anus. I don't know. Listen, between us and here, fucking people can hear and see the shit. Y'all don't think <laughs> they can. Y'all don't think 2024 is starting off as the wildest shit ever. It's up there. <laughs> Y'all don't think so? And with a, an election at the end of it. <laughs> this is the craziest shit. We're just filling up the time with crazy shit. I don't think y'all understand. It's a leap year. This is April. Mm. We're in April, bro. First. <laughs> Yo, this is the craziest shit ever, man. It is April Fool's Day, guys. Happy April Fool's. Um, well, all right. Before we move on, have you guys ever been in that position? Not like where your gay friend tried to see if you were gay or not, but a friend said they had more feelings for you. Yeah, I've been in that position. Does that ruin the friendship? Because how, like, how can Gerard even go to a Igor show now? No, it doesn't. He may ask it, for his publishing. I think it's it it, it defers. It for me when that's one of my homegirls all like, over that album. Yeah, 
when one of my homegirls came at me like that, like let me like she wanted to like change the dynamic of our friendship, mm. and I declined. It it made it weird for like the first couple months, but now it's like it's all good. Like now we laugh about that shit. And but now you, she looking back like, God damn, I dodged a bullet. Yeah, that's true. but you never got physical with her ever, right? No. Okay, because I feel like once that barrier is crossed, then yeah. it's hard to. Once fix. you cross that that barrier with a friend, like a girl that you were just cool with, and y'all cross that barrier, it depends, bro. Like it can go either way. It can be like really cool after same shit, nothing, or it can be like so awkward. You don't have the same friend that you once had. It wasn't worth it because it's like now I don't even have you know my homegirl anymore. Yeah, so not, it just depends. It depends on y'all relationship. If not, y'all relationship is strong enough to handle that, not every movie is brown sugar. Yeah, no, not doesn't that, always end. It does not end like that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't even. Know, I've never been in that position. I also wouldn't know what to do. And then I'd feel even like creepier if I was into it because then that was never like my friend. Nah, no, that I doesn't don't mean that. That, that doesn't mean that. That yeah. doesn't mean that. I think that. If it is good, it's because y'all have such well, a chemistry as right. friends, which my is what friend, you and your, your partner should have. But not with. just my friend. Like, to, like, I've always had women friends and they've just been their friends. Right. That's what it is. Yeah, if I'd like just start fucking them, then I'd start questioning, were we friends like that? Because now that there's a whole nother aspect to it. Yeah, but that doesn't, I, I mean. There's I nothing do. wrong with that if it works. I just, yeah. I've never viewed my female friends that way. So now it's like they're telling me they want to fuck or try, you know, try to talk a little bit past being friends. It'd be weird to me. It's only weird. I would, if I would if react if like you, Tyler did. Yeah, but it's only weird if it's like, if it's that friend where you're like, I'm just not attracted to like that. But if you have yeah. a female friend that you are attracted to, like we all have, we can, we know when we're attracted to somebody, whether it's a friend sure. or not. It's like, yo, I'm attracted to this person. Okay. But. There's, I have female friends that I find attractive, but not in exactly. a way to act. Yeah. Like not, I know that's a pretty girl. Yeah. I'm aware of that, but that's yeah. not something I'm pursuing or want. In that so you've never way. had a female friend that was one, physically attractive and two, personality, everything was dope and. Yeah. But just not for me. Hmm. Okay. I had a situation where I met a girl. And also, I don't think every woman wants to sleep with me. <laughs> no, I'm saying if, if she, if it got to that point where she said she wanted to, I see, like she said it. I guess you. I'm questioning myself because I've never been in that position. <clears throat> and I don't know. And I've only viewed friends that way. Mm. But I do have female friends that I do think are attractive, but I've never, it's never crossed my mind to do that mm -hmm. huh. because we've never even had those conversations <clears throat> or the energy has never been that. Mm -hmm. If it shifted, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I might be. And then I'd start questioning myself. Like, what the fuck I am I doing? Be. I might be. It, like, me. this is supposed to be my friend. I wasn't supposed to view you this way. Yeah. And then I'd start feeling sick. Like, any attractive friend. Like, why, why am I her friend? I'd just start questioning myself. It'd be two weeks of therapy for sure. Yeah, I had one cl close situation. The girl I met through a group of friends was in a relationship. But they were at the end of their relationship. She was very vocal about breaking up with him. And we were friends. Started off as friends. And then, like, when they ended... We were like, we weren't, we didn't go on an official date, but we would all go out as a group. And like one night she slept over at mine. I think we like made out. We didn't have sex. And then like a week That's or two. That's the best. Yeah, it was great. You make out and y'all, y'all don't take oh, it all the way great. there. Made her coffee I, in the morning. Oh man, out. that's the best. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, so I woke up in the morning. I'm like, oh, this is great. Like I like where this is going. And then like a week or two later, she got in a whole ass relationship. And I was like, well, fuck. So I never beat, but it also didn't ruin our friendship. Because like nothing ultimate. really happened. We just yeah. like kissed. Just made out. We're still cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's forgivable for the new boyfriend. Yeah, he got to look. Yeah, yeah, he, he, can't, like, he, he doesn't. He, can, know. he can't. Well, There's even if no he way. did, he can't yeah. get mad at that. Yeah, what is no. he gonna do? We we'll jump that nigga. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Your, your man's with the Lululemon is is untouched. Man, we'll break We're pussy. Homie. What's his name? Uh, uh, how? Uh, what do we call him? Lance? Fabio. I don't know. Fabio. We'll <laughs> Lance. Beat the, Lance. I just remember him as a Lance. We'll beat the brakes off of Fabio. Oh uh, well. Either way, I say don't fuck your friends, but. If you find them attractive, it depends, maybe it could man. work. It depends. I do love that scenario when like you have a girl that is a friend, but you've never really established if we're going to fuck or not. Mm -hmm. Like it is still that gray area. Like we're not friend zoning each other, but no one's ever spoken about anything sexual. Like it's still open. If we fucked, it wouldn't be weird. Yeah. I enjoy that type of friendship. I enjoy that type of friendship, but it's just funny because I've been on both sides of it. Like I've been Same. on the side where 
we were friends. We started as friends. It got physical. And now we're friends again. It's all, everything's good. And I've been on the side where it was like, we're friends. She let me know that she wanted to take things further. And I'm like, nah, I can't do that. And then it got awkward after that because now she knows, oh, he knows that I would, abs- I would fuck him. So I'm just like, but why does it have to be weird? Like, it's it's all, we adults. Like, it's Well, women cool. don't handle, reje- people don't handle rejection well. <laughs> yeah, I about to say men don't handle but it's, rejection it's well. But it's not really, but is it, it's, like with this Tyler and Gerard shit, yes, it's rejection. But if we're friends, we're supposed to laugh at that rejection. Because it's like, bro, the rejection is because like, yo, we we too cool for like, well, nah, we not, I would never do that. We're not taking it there. Is it so it's a different, it's not a rejection like, yo, ill, like you, I'm not attracted to you, get out of here. It's a rejection like, yo, nah, we, come on, we like family, yo, we not doing that. He has every right to feel hurt because he, you know, he has feelings for Tyler over the years. They became close. But you can't get mad at your friend for reacting that type of way. No. 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 You it's also your show. It's not like Tyler brought you on his show and that conversation ensued and he put it out. You asked him. I'm glad he was honest, but you can't be mad at your friend. Like, bro, I look at you like legitimately like my brother and family for the years we've known each other. I thought it was clear when I said, LOL, stupid bitch, the first time. It's an yeah. amazing like, response. And then I'm sure Tyler, he was calling him his, his brother and his family. I'm sure he feels weird because now it's like, damn, I think I just lost my friend because he wanted to be more than that. And now, now I don't even know how to act around him. Gerard was sitting there like they already my, had... my guys around him. Like now, now what? I yeah. don't think Tyler will feel a way moving forward. It's all about how Gerard responds to yeah. him. Like but Gerard was sitting there. Gerard but, was sitting there like, like they already did something. Now he's trying to figure out what are we. Like Gerard had the what are we like I don't think so. body language. I don't think so. Because Tyler, Tyler's really I, not a I'm not saying they did, but that was the energy Gerard had. Like he was trying to figure out, like, all right, so where do we go from here? I'm not putting any freak offs on any of their jackets. I'm talking about all consensual orgy shit. I think there could have been a night where they had some of the fellas and some of the, some of the girls at a house. And yeah, maybe they, as friends, participated. And then Gerard was like, oh, okay. So he does kind of see me physical and I really like him as a person. I'm with Maul. I think they maybe had one little interaction one time. Maybe that a gave kiss. him the confidence to be like, maybe I could be with Tyler. Or maybe they did, did what Julian did. Together. Maybe they made out. Sorry, what? Maybe they made out. Oh, okay. Well, I was. Don't Has know. Julian made out with his male friend? Yeah. What no, 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 I'm saying like, no, no I get the, I get <laughs> with that. With Julian's was situation with his friend, oh, like oh, he made okay. out. Yeah, maybe they had a make out sesh. <laughs> yeah, did gay friends just make out the way like girls pretend they're gay? Like, if you men, know what I mean? That's a good question. Men, men make out with, and you know how you do. No. You go in the spot, that's you'll not make what out. I'm saying. You'll make out with 10 girls in a row. I'm saying you without, without. So like, imagine a man uh, that likes I, other men. Imagine two, two minds that are like that, but they're attracted to each other. when I was outside, don't feel ashamed. I was. I love to make out. I'm not a stranger. public make out guy. Oh, I am. Really? Yeah. Uh, we go out, well, on the road, we've gone out a bunch. Do you ever see me kiss a girl in public? No, but I've never, I've never seen you like, like when we were out, I've never even seen you trying to really get at a girl though. Well, that's because like, I've never seen you in black that, rooms. Yeah. <laughs> we're in black clubs. <laughs> I've never seen you in that bag. But I think that if you was, if we were out and like you kind of was like getting some chemistry with a girl in the spot. I think you, if me and you was like standing by the bar and you're talking to a girl and y'all was like hitting it off, I think you would make out with her right there. I, I guess it's situational, but that, 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 that's not my move. I yeah. wouldn't like look for the make out. Okay. I would try to push that all off until we leave the venue. Okay. Why? I don't like doing shit like that in public. It's weird. You don't like, I'll, I'll palm it, your ass, but I'm it, not going to like stick my I, tongue down your throat in Is public. it because you don't want to like ruin your shot with somebody else that might be in the room? It's an optic thing for sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to put all my eggs in this basket. Okay. No, listen, I respect yeah. that. I go to, I go to Whole Foods. <laughs> Speaking of eating. In my, my early twenties, my go-to move was asking <laughs> a strange girl, like, so what are we? And that was when you just met her. Yeah, <laughs> you, thought, you thought that was so. That serial didn't killer you? shit. What are we? Uh, we're it drunk worked every time. <laughs> so what are we're we? We're drunk. <laughs> no, I'd say it's sober. <laughs> <laughs> Breath. Yo, getting the sober. What are we off? Is wild. Like, we just met I each other right up to campus. It was, what are we? <laughs> <laughs> like I need to get this Damn, straight. Like I'm tired that. of not having a title anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't I stop stringing too. me along. Yeah, I can't keep going to class. Yeah, that, that when I was in my early twenties, that worked with chicks that were in their early twenties. They found it funny and cute. And now they're all married. With When's you? the last time a, guy, a girl or a guy said to you, uh, I had a dream about you last night? I just got that off. You just you got that off? Fucking old. You too old for that. You yeah. too fucking old. But I did, though. It was a, I really did, though. She, but it was like really a genuine saw, dream? Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I wasn't lying. I, was, I, really, she, I saw her in my dream. Okay, I don't what, know if it's because we was just like texting like a couple days ago, but I saw her in my dream. What was she doing in the dream? 
It was weird because she had you. she had ran past me and I was like, yo, where you going? Like she just ran. And I was like, <laughs> fuck you going? Like, why are you running? It was and it wasn't even a place to be running at. So Did it was you like, check your dream book to see what it meant? Which a dream you, yeah, you think you, I have a dream book? Next on the nightstand. Next to your poop. Ne- book? Next to your Jesus piece. <laughs> And hand sanitizer. Oh, you I think, think that's what. Oh, you right think there. I'm Big Gerard? That's what you think. You think I'm Big Gerard? Next nah. to your booty cream. <laughs> what is it? Booty butter. Booty, booty butter. butter. Jesus that's, piece next to the booty butter. That's wild. <laughs> on Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all know that Biden signed a bill oh, on God. Easter? Uh, you're wrong. Here we Ma, go. Just be wrong. No, what? no, no. Go ahead. Let him. Did he? What? What's yes. the bill? About what? Didn't he sign a bill for like trans rights or something on on Easter? Easter's not on the same day. <laughs> oh, here we go. No, he but did it from March 31st, like, period. Oh, I Forever. thought he signed Easter the is, is, is no, it's always been, the fourth it, Sunday is, or whatever the, the, the fuck. That bill was passed in like 2018 or 19. So what did he just sign? He I can't hold know. a pen. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't sign shit. That's valid. <laughs> he did the PDF uh, fake that, sign. That's, that's valid. It was electronic. Yeah, he, he checked the box. <laughs> What's that doc? Yo. The doc shit where you just click, you just click sign. Do an electronic signature on a fucking law. Oh, well, or I, was, the I was off by a decade. The transgender day vis- visibility started in 2009. So this has been around for a very long time. It's on March 31st every year. But the thing is, this March 31st happened to be Easter. And this is why I never want to hear the oh, right okay. say fake news to me again. Because you guys do the exact same fucking thing. I just, somebody had sent that to me. I was like, there's no way. That's why I was asking y'all, did y'all know about that? Because that's if that was real, that's insane. Yeah, when finding I heard, a way to be outraged on Easter is fucking crazy. <laughs> finding a way to be outraged is crazy. When I heard Trans Visibility Day, I thought it meant everyone would flash their piece. I could see why you I could see no, I could see why your brain went that could way. Could you? Visible, yeah. right? Just so you yeah. could see if it's there. Like, like, let us know. Now we know yeah. going into the we next know what year. You are. Yeah, I get it. Whether you, you know, yeah. You fillet it. How was everyone's Easter? <laughs> Did you dress Amara up? <laughs> she had her uh, egg egg hunter shirt on. Is she a little Easter bunny? We yeah, we put some some ears on her. Yeah. Okay. She did a Easter egg hunt. It was fun. But oh, I mean, yeah. I don't know. And shit, she's not gonna remember. It was for us. Yeah. Everything now is just for us. Yes. Outfits. I spent half my Easter watches watching Love Is Blind. It's okay. Easter is blind. The Easter bunny is blind. That makes sense, though. Right. That's why we gotta find his eggs. Mm. Exactly. And the fact that bunnies don't. Jesus healed the blind man. Lay eggs is even funnier, but okay. I actually have no idea what the bunny and egg connection to Easter is. Yeah, like the origins aren't as exciting as you would think. We talk about this every year. Do we? Yeah, we definitely talk about this. Well, it's a symbol of new life, I guess, a bunny. But it's just weird that, I mean, I don't know, I guess Christmas is the same way where it's a legitimate religious holiday about something specific in a religion. Mm -hmm. And then we throw a Christmas tree... Santa Claus festive, and yeah. then a, uh, Easter Bunny. Add some characters to the story. Capitalism. Yeah, symbols are important because, like, yeah, what I mean, you need it. You need something to attach to the story. Didn't, yeah, didn't like the Coke come up with Santa or whatever. I'm sorry, the Coke. No, like like the, the the painting of like the the cartoon figure that we know of Santa. I know mm-hmm. Saint Nicholas was a thing, but I think the version that we celebrate was developed by an ad agency. Mm. Makes sense. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. wrong Coke. Oh, not that. No. Okay. No, that's. The old you. That's the snow. Yeah. Mm, mm. That powers a sleigh. That nigga spitting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. All right. Before we get off Easter, my dad sent me this photo um, yesterday. This is what was happening in the seventies. What they were doing to children. Oh yeah. <laughs> they all look like they. That's got not touched. fucking terrifying to you. That's awful. Yeah, it's pretty awful. Yeah, that that bunny looks like a. Uh, this looks like therapy for years. They all look like victims. This is like scared straight in the seventies. <laughs> This is, this is so. This scary. is scared straight in the seventies. <laughs> is that head paper mache? What is that? This is the seventies. No, or maybe late sixties. Yeah, this got it. This late sixties. Yeah, this dip. This would terrify me. I could not believe like people waited in line in New Jersey to do this. What? Is it, that's your dad and who? Else? My dad. That's my uncle Paul and uh, my aunt Mo. Well, they don't look like they're scared at all. Kids How are be- different, man. Horrible. Now I understand why he calls my generation pussy. If I saw this thing, I'm running out of the mall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I'm a kid, I'm <laughs> not. Like, I'm not fuck? sitting next to that. If I'm a kid, no way. Yeah, that's sick. That's hilarious. <laughs> and you, you have to think that the guy under that is oh. a serial killer for sure, uh, right? Oh, pedo, breath reeking like Jack Daniels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He actually didn't even know it was Easter. He, he just happened to be in the mall. He's on work release. That's his work release job. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's his community service hours. <laughs> in the late 60s, you know what you had to do to get locked up and then at work release? You had to actually kill a bunch of people. That's a fact. <laughs> um, but I'm glad everyone's Easter was great. Um, shout out to, to Jesus for 
you know, rising and then leaving again. Yeah, yeah, we don't really talk, talk about, about abandonment about that. issues. Yeah, about how he don't really talks about the the double dip. He just said like hide with mom and then went and went back. I bet went to be with his pops went on a land like that one. Nigga. Do you think maybe it was like a custody battle and who won? I mean, God finally won. He went to his mom for the weekend three days later. Yeah, and then he's been with dad ever since. Nah, but he'll be back though. One day, totally. Yeah, one he day. on his way. There's no way he's not coming back. <laughs> Well, according to one religion, we're still waiting for it. <laughs> what? <laughs> ben Shapiro said it, not me. Oh, man. Y'all are sick. <laughs> Anyways, what else do we have? So I don't have to get into Gunna and Chloe. Damaris, uh, well, we were talking about it before we started recording, but we were briefly mentioned how Maul was getting killed all weekend. Yeah, it was great. I love whenever they are Maul ass and then Maul goes in the comments to try to double down on like what he was saying and he they just swinging. get on his ass more. It's like... All I said was it was a better record. No, and then you said these are the same people that said Quavo's bigger than Chris Brown. Oh, y'all. I'm talking about... No. See, all right. What I Yo, didn't understand y'all was... Y'all said Quavo was hot. Y'all really said that. All right, you know but let's knew... not get off of that. Let's stay on... No, 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 no. no, no, no. Nothing, nothing you say is valid after that. that. Right nothing now. you say is valid after that. Nah, nah. Let's talk about what you say. About Nothing now. you say is Let's valid after that. You lost the validation. You said Quavo's hotter day. than Chris Brown. At the end of the he's day, he's not. Okay, that's cool. He's you not. Right. And Drake lost that battle. Now you're How? being real clayish right now. You're manipulating the conversation. Exactly. You do that. About. But I think for the first time ever, and Maul's going to deny it. I think the comments may have started to get to him for the first time ever. How? Because you... why did we catch a fucking stray in that? We weren't coming at you. Right. All of a sudden, you putting at us like, well, what about them and Quavo? Yeah, I was like, damn. I, <laughs> yeah. Because you said, you said. I didn't shoot at you. You said it was an L. Y'all we were having a healthy all conversation. In harm, all in harmony. Like y'all was harmonizing that Quavo's hiding than Chris Brown. Yeah. Y'all harmonized that. Y'all right. harmonized that that Drake took an L in a pusher beef. Okay. Drake Fine. also said he took an L. But we had that conversation <laughs> in that video. You shooting at the comment but why people y'all don't, and why going, y'all don't, what about Julian, Rory, and Tamara? Hold on, but why y'all don't talk about when I said like this, though? It's debatable. That meant it was debatable. You're on the internet. We, Nobody no, cares we, about We that. asked you uh, to explain the debatable, and then you and went into And I said Duppy it. was a better record. Is it not? Okay. Oh, now y'all quiet. Now y'all okay. not harmonizing. You niggas, boy. Y'all kill me, man. <laughs> it's just a generation gap. I, I just didn't even understand why we were attacked in the comments when I you were being you. attacked I by other people. I just told you because y'all was harmonizing that Drake took an L. Y'all harmonized L. But right? you acting but you like this is a us random us take that Drake took an L. Everybody, I'm not, no, including I'm, I'm Drake, has said that he I'm, took I'm an L. I'm responding to the people in the room. I just said it's debatable. When I went like this, right, Damaris? That means that's nah, debatable. That's what this no, means, right? Then you, def- you stood then you on double it. Down. Actually, yeah. I, stood I, I doubled do- down that it's debatable. I think, in my personal opinion, I think Duppy was a better record than anything Pusha designed and tailored towards so, Drake. So, um, well, let me ask you a direct question because you like to hop, skip, and jump around. I don't hop and skip nowhere. Do you think... I like to hop and skip. Do you think True. that Pusha won the battle? Yes or no? No, I don't. Okay. And right. that's where we disagree. And I don't think this is a generational Including Nobody's Drake. arguing that Duppy isn't a better record than Story added on. Nobody's arguing Why do y'all think Pusha won the beef? Because he dropped the record and Drake didn't respond to the last record? And went on the shop and replied that way. Yeah, I said it pretty So good. that means he lost because he didn't reply. Yeah. So, so let me ask he you lose. something. So let me ask you something. So if I'm, if I'm the top dog, right? In, and in music, this was more disrespectful than the last one. Uh, and you said you... You had a, a record recorded, Debatable. but it was it went too far, so you decided not to put. Okay, it so 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 let so me ask you. This. So if you, you, so if you drop, up. so if you drop a record, right, and I don't respond to that after I responded to whatever you dropped before that, mm-hmm. that means I automatically lose. Is no, that, is that the rules no, over there? No, it's year? not. But we're saying it's a different circumstance where Push did reply to the Duppy freestyle, and Drake said he recorded a verse, mm. said it was too far, so he mm. didn't put it out. And mm-hmm. that Jay Prince told him not to uh, play in the mud with the pigs or whatever Houston proverb he said. <laughs> and then he went and sat in a barber chair and replied there. He did not reply in raps. If he would have shut the fuck up, period, I think you would have had a better case here. But why he got to shut the fuck up? He could talk about the, the, the moment. Just because he didn't put out a record that he has, like that means then that don't he can talk, never talk about it again? Don't talk about the record you recorded and didn't put out. To me, that's an L. Okay. And well, to, to, a, complain, to you, and, to and I respect that. To you, if that's an L, that's an L. I'm, think, not, I'm not arguing that. I think I'm just talking P, about the music that Styles was released. Styles P summed it up very well. I forgot what pod he was on, but he summed it up well of why Drake took an L. When he went on the shop, he was arguing with LeBron and them about the rules of battling that you can't go and talk about my friend's sickness. Now it's too far. It's not a rap battle anymore. Mm-hmm. And Styles was saying, yo, you're a pop artist. Even though you are from hip hop, you're still a pop artist. You can't come down 
here to what where and we play the rules. and then try to change the rules. Mm -hmm. That's an L. And I think Styles summed that up very well. Okay. And I don't think it's a generational thing. Rel agrees with you all the time when it comes to old shit. Rel, did Drake lose that battle? It was close. Nigga, uh, answer the uh, question. See, that's, that pissed me off. That's fucking answer crazy. Answer the question. It's, yo. Yes All right, no. who was I closer? I like whoever I has the like. biggest who song. Who won the battle? I don't care what I, you like. I'm going to say I'm going more with Maul. I don't think. Oh, see, I right, fam. Why do you ask a light-skinned nigga opinion? That's why we don't yeah. fucking listen to them to begin with. Shit. And Takeover is a better song, but Ether was a better battle record. But it's a difference. But e because but it was a battle better battle record to you because Ether was directed solely towards Jay. Takeover yeah. was multiple people, people yeah, yeah. that he tailored that for. Yeah. Just like Duppy Freestyle, you you're saying that Pusha lost in that battle, but Drake barely addressed Pusha. This is a Kanye diss. Yeah. And and Pusha got a couple shots in. Like, this is a Kanye diss. This is not a oh, I demolished Pusha diss. No, yeah. he demolished Kanye, mm -hmm. but he didn't demolish Pusha. Mm -hmm. He barely addressed Pusha. Yeah, there's only a few shots there. Do y'all see why he barely addressed Pusha? Can y'all see that? Oh, yeah. I can't. Of course. I'm done. I get it. I am what done. What are you done? What are you screaming? I'm done. Why are you so hyped? Why is she so hyped? Success. Now, and you see the the the, the gaslighting shit that he does because Maul literally gets hype and yells at us all the time. When y'all were saying I shit yelled, like Quavo's hotter than Chris Brown. You dumb yelled, shit. You yelled when we were having that was the craziest shit I've ever he heard. He wasn't hot enough to stay on Dreamville Fest. I was gonna say they had to drop him because the tickets. Stop. That's not <laughs> Chris who? Brown. No one was going to see Chris Brown. They should replace him with Quavo instead of Fifty. They put Fifty on there. Instead of Chris? Well, that they replaced 50. Uh, uh, yeah, Chris, Chris with 50. Uh, something happened. They didn't say why, but unforeseen circumstances, Chris can't make Dreamville Fest. So they put uh, oh, okay. so say 50 that. and... Huncho. Huncho, uh, which I thought was Quavo for a minute, but I guess there's an artist. Is that, that's Huncho. Sexy Red's baby father, right? Huncho, I think? No idea. I have no, no idea. Nope. This is the new lineup. It's really just the two of them got added. Great lineup. Yeah. Money Long Money and Chris Long Brown. got taken off, which makes me sad, but yeah. Sizzle and 50 Cent in one day for headliners is crazy. Yeah. With Tizo sexy. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day. So the um, Huncho guy that's not sexy red's baby father? I have, I have no, no idea. No, Huncho no is not sexy red's baby father. Are you sure about that or are you just saying no? I'm positive. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they dated. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Dreamville Fest. You excited? Yeah. Surprisingly, first time. I, I still haven't made it down there. It's a fun time. Well, I hope Clay goes I'm in North Carolina. That is that is true. You could run into <laughs> Clay is clearly invite a music Clay, fan. Invite, too. invite Clay to Dreamville. Fan I will and see how that go. Why? What do you mean? That's see a good two man weave right it's there. Gonna be throwing water Clay? bottles at that nigga. He ain't hit them text <laughs> Stop, messages. They back. love. He's no. I think you got him fucked up. I think he's cleaning up in North Carolina. I think he is too. You think it's so? The I, I think Clay's not from North Carolina. That's gonna swing on him. Anyways, Drake lost. <laughs> And, oh, if yo, going, yo, and if you're going, and if you're crazy, and if you're going to go you. with the push love, isn't on the level, I love the fact so he went after Kanye. Why is he not going after Kendrick? They're on the same level. Well, he, damn, the battles, the, the battle that Re people want is not going seen. to happen, though. It's not going to happen. Insider it's trading. No, it's just uh, it's not going to happen. It's just not. I don't think it's going to happen for just many reasons, but. It's stupid. It should happen. I think we do, we do, we need to see for this generation. We need to see the best go at it like that. Okay, but, so but I'll I think ask it's just too this. much business and shit. And, and I'm getting in the way. Can we like have a rap battle that that doesn't like that isn't based off real gang violence? Yeah. That's why I would want this one. Like, can we just like yeah. rap? That's why I would want this one. So you're saying I'm here's asking. how they gonna come at you with silly rap feuds. Trying to distract you. Oh, oh. And disguise. Hold on. And disguise in the form of a favor. You know why Jay is a snake? Okay. Because Jay did that to Drake after he rapped that to he Drake. He was the first one, I think. He lived his... He did that exact thing what? he told Drake that would happen. And sent Meek Mill on a fucking dummy mission to go do that. Oh, y'all are talking. See, this is... You, you got to you stay off that part of YouTube, bro. <laughs> You be going, I, you be that going was on a theory part that came up in nah, my yeah. head first. Oh, when that, well, keep that theory in your head. Right, if you so think that Jay Z, if not you about Jay -Z. think that Jay Z sent Meek Mill, yes, I do. To go at Drake. You're <laughs> fucking crazy. Man. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, Rory, so Rory said thirty for thirty is about Jay. About? Rory jumped out the window a little bit with that one. I was with him. But. Stay off that part of YouTube, bro. I'm not saying. Jay sent him to put those tweets. That's out. exactly what but you I just know said. Jay was on his line immediately, saying, "Finally, someone can go after." Drake and was fully behind me behind the scenes. All right. 
So you think Drake right. is lying in this so, verse? So let me ask you so something. So you think Drake is a liar? Is let what me you're ask saying. you something. Let me you ask think you, Drake is a liar? I'm trying to ask you something. I'm just trying to ask you something. I'm making sure you can't ask it. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to ask this you This is something. how you argue. You think that the, the the rapper mind of Jay-Z, you think the guy that knows rap and knows lyrics and, and all of that, mm. like Jay does, you mm. think that the opponent that he picked is sought out that said, yo, this is the guy that could take down Drake? I'm tired of you making it was this me? point. Why are we rewriting history? He's not sending 2024 Meek at Drake. Any Meek, Meek at the, we any didn't know year. who Meek was at the time. He had any a great year. mystique of him. Any and then year. we found out who he was. I just said the guy that knows rap, that knows rappers, that can Meek hear that can hear a rapper and know like a formidable what his opponent. ability is. If if we're looking at Jay's older lens, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, if you don't write your rhymes, that's an L immediately. Meek had the streets. We looked at Meek as a good rapper at that time. We thought he was battle tested. Meek had all the energy around him. Jay, in his brain, of course, we think he's smart. He's not right about fucking everything. I think he thought yeah. Drake has a stain like that. that he didn't write. I, I, I like that. I think he Yeah, thought. of course. Okay. I'm gonna I highlight think he that. thought yeah. that this would be a way to diminish and put a stain on Once Drake's you say that, career. Hey, you can say anything after you say that. I think he thought. He's no, a podcast. Because like, we can be honest. I think everyone, I know I certainly did. When this whole beef started, I was one of the people that was like, oh, Drake is going to get washed. This, yeah. is, this is Meek's world. I, th I think a lot, a of, people lot of people that. had that same opinion. Clearly they were wrong. But we I'm saying wrong. at that time, people thought that. At that time, 100%, I thought Meek was going to piece him up. And I, like, I think Jay, for this. Jay being the petty individual that he is, had love for Drake. But rap is still a sport that he was involved in. He was the GOAT at that time. Still is. Yeah. These young kids that may have a chance at coming up to my legacy and they not writing their rhymes. Yeah, I'm going to send my soldiers at them to try to I get them. my soldiers. What's the point of having soldiers if you don't use them? I don't think he was a soldier. At but this I time that he sent his soldiers, wasn't J. Cole signed to Jay? Yeah. Why wouldn't he send J. Cole? Because J. J. Cole didn't Cole. jump out the window and tweet Quentin Miller's name. So you think that because, so you think, so in your brain, you think that when Meek did that, Jay was on Meek? No, no, I said after Meek did that, I think You think Jay, Jay was on his line like, yo, go get him? Yeah, yes. Probably. <laughs> I do. Y'all niggas is All crazy. Right. So do you think Drake is a liar? I think everybody read, on the planet read the first, is a liar. The top of 30 for 30 freestyle. You think this is about Meek Mill? I don't know who this is about. Don't care who this is about. You just told me that Jay Read, read it. You're better at reading. Never thought I'd be talking from this perspective, mm. but I'm not really sure what else you expected. Mm -hmm. When the higher ups have all come together as a collective with conspiracies to end my run and send me a message. <laughs> 40, did you get the message? Mm. Cause I just checked my phone and I didn't get it. <laughs> you thought forty was in the group chat? I mean, I say hats off for a solid effort, but we didn't flinch for a second. We got our shit together. This is a great verse. I mean, Listen. he's not talking about Meek. And then he continues on to talk about we haven't seen you since January. We're gonna retire your jersey. You're in the raft. Like this is about Jay Z being behind Meek and doing some shit behind the scenes some scallops. to try to get Drake the fuck out of here when that Quentin Miller. Uh, can I ask hit. you something? What would what would Jay get out of getting Drake out of here? Being the GOAT. He's still the GOAT. Okay, but at that time... At that time what, nigga? Drake looked like a very formal opponent the way his career was going. So send Meek? <laughs> Why not? I go right at him. Because <laughs> he would look crazy. No, but also if you <laughs> what send... What are you talking about? The same artist, way we talked about everyone has been waiting for an excuse to go at Drake in this whole uh, future Metro shit. Now people are unfollowing him that didn't like him before. Now everyone feels comfortable saying something. Meek jumped out the fucking window with that dumbass tweet and now Jay was like, well, now we have a reason to try to go at him and put some stain on a career that has been unfucking touched since so far gone. The Barzini meeting. Watch for the traitors. Mm. Jay told you poor. all. He gave you this on the first album. He told Drake what he was going to do to him. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know, man. I, I want the battle to happen because I, this will be one of the best that we probably ever will get with Kendrick and, you know, Drake and Cole. You I never, think that Cole is still going to drop his, his album, though. You never flew over Chattanooga trying to spread the movement. I love uh, that's what I love about Drake because he'll he'll lace like uh, eight bars of just piecing someone up and then just throwing a line about eating well done seared scallops that were to die for. And I love goes, thirty for thirty. But 30 I got 30. bigger fish to fry. You see, you see where the scallops and the fish go hand in hand. Talking bigger shit than you and I. Back to Jay. See, we had the scallops. Now we're back to Jay. Oh, the bigger fish. Yeah, the big fish. The biggest fish. Mm. Kids are losing lives. <laughs> I'm scared of losing mine. I do want. Oh. The, I do want this shit to happen. I want these records. Can, can we just do an episode? Where we just read Drake. <laughs> so, so just to clear, I just want to keep clarifying this for the listeners. So you're saying, if he does not respond to Kendrick, 
and everybody's like, oh, you lost, you know, that's an asterisk, whatever. Do you agree that that's a mark? Kind of like the ghostwriting. Do you agree that that's just a little, a little mark next to his name when we're talking about greatest of all times? Yeah. Drake is still if he doesn't Drake respond is still to a future. living legend, but yeah. If he doesn't I, respond there's a mark to the future verse? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, and you're, you're shooting Travis's head at the concert, IG captions. Well, that's been debunked. I oh. guess that's a motion that he does at every show. He, God damn it. Bro, this is and this is what I'm saying it's about not the internet, that. It's bro. the captions that are getting the to picture me. caption. If you get wanna, over it, if dude. you want to stand on your shit, then just ignore but this everything. Is, I'm fine with, if as Drake's gonna reply, get bro, your IG captions over. Bro, okay. if anything Drake does now, it's because Kendrick has him rattled. If he if he walks out of his hotel tomorrow and drops a bottle of water in his hand, yo, look, Kendrick is all in his brain, living rent free. Mm. It's like everything this nigga does, y'all think he's thinking about. Now he has a record ready to go. It. That's a fact. He Drake has a record done. You can't you be you can't be doing that. cryptic IG captions after Kendrick goes at you and Puffy is doing the Diddy walk on his dock after Homeland Security. <laughs> like he doesn't have a care in the world. Diddy's dancing. You can't look perplexed yeah. off a of verse. Uh, his last caption since the uh, release was you boys ain't and these are all just photo dumps from the tour. You boys ain't no businessmen. And then he says I could never see y'all out uh, outsell my latest work. Never do you bad out the blue, but I'm down to make it worse with a little party emoji. You know, I took that as he's replying. Took that as what? He's going to reply. They rather go to war with me than admit that they are their own worst enemy. Hey, Kendrick, laughing emoji. If by any chance you happen to hear this podcast, drop the record while while doing burpees. Yeah, drop the record. Let's just have this. Let's have this moment for. Just hip hop culture and just. So you're saying Kendrick goes another one before Drake gives us one? I feel like that window's kind of closed. What window's closed? The back to back window. The back to back window. I don't know. Beyonce dropped. It was Easter. Maybe this yeah. week. I ain't he's, never, he's back to back I ain't never see a fight where a nigga smack a nigga and be like, come on, hit me back and then I'll hit you again. What type of shit is that? Hit, swing again, then, nigga. Because that little shit you put out wasn't, that wasn't enough to get the two of the best to come jump out the tree. You keep saying he never said his name. Drake never mentioned Meek's name or Push's name in either of his disses either. But he won. But you, come on, fam. What? Come on, fam. This was a shot. So no. He's still dissing Meek. He's dressing like a dirt biker. Every show. (laughs) Still won't let that beef go. (laughs) What's he need that vest for? I just want to hear these records, man. Because the shit that everybody else is putting out is irrelevant right now. It is. <laughs> Niggas calling Beyonce irrelevant. Crazy. No, I'm talking about rap. I'm t- oh, listen, right. Let's not be crazy. <laughs> let's not be crazy. We talking about rap. <laughs> talking about rap. We talking about hip hop. You buck if this motherfucker. Talking about hip hop. Yeehaw. Speaking of Beyonce record, uh, I didn't listen to it. Damn. Damn. Love is blind. Had, had you in a chokehold. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I told y'all, I don't, I don't, I don't really run to like the female R and B. Just women. Like Too bad that. it's you not an R and B album. It's not an R and B album. Well, she, well, she's an R and B artist. Well. Is Beyonce? Do we have no to, pop artist? She just a, a, she's just an artist now. Yeah, she, she's, uh, she's uh, Dolly Parton addresses that on the album. Actually, she said uh, she doesn't learning. like genres. That wasn't Dolly. Oh. Yeah, Beyonce is Sorry. she yeah. Beyonce is is all white is bigger than just R and B at this point. Damn it! But overdue. I did see everybody, all the ladies on the timeline, going crazy over this album as soon as it dropped. Um, but I just haven't. I just didn't give it a listen yet. But everybody seems to love it. Everybody seems to think that Beyonce did a great job. Um, I don't know how y'all feel about it, Maris. Um, so I, it is not one of my favorite Beyonce albums, but I think it is one of Beyonce's best albums, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it won't get as much replay value from me as some of my favorite Beyonce albums, Lemonade being my favorite Beyonce album. But I think it is her best written album. I think it is one of her best produced albums. Um, and I definitely think that it's an album of the year contender. I I know enough music where I can listen and be like, oh, this is a sonically genius album. It's so, it's like but she's on there doing opera in Italian. Yeah, She got the classical singer's gag. Like, Culture vulture. Hmm. <laughs> What mm. you doing? Oh, the I love this album. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's fucking it's insane. Her her talent is insane, and I think Beyonce has reached. She's been there for a while, but like this really just solidifies it. She's reached that point that Jay hit where his fans can't relate anymore because he's too talented and too cultured. And I think it's like. If you don't want to understand this album, they'll get it in a couple of years. They'll yeah, understand. they'll get it in a couple of years. Exactly. Like she's. 
way above anything that the the average ear, the casual fan can even understand. But well, luckily, well, you're not like why. that. You're she's not built like she's that. the artist. She's the musician for the artist. Like I've been, I've had this album on repeat. Shut up. We got a because, higher trained ear over no, here. No, I'm not. I'm an average here. person, but I've had the album on repeat because every single listen, I'm catching different things. It's going to take me longer because I am a casual listener to catch things that a classically trained ear mm. would catch on the first mm. listen. I've had it on repeat, just trying to understand it. And this is not me dick sucking. This is like, just the girl deserves her flowers. Like she's amazing. So. Um, interesting point of saying she's got to the point where Jay was, where it was just unrelatable shit. Ma the Magna Carta era yeah. of Jay, where it's like, uh, we understand that you are rich and can afford paintings that we can. The Basquiat show. Where I think Beyonce has probably looked at Jay's career and made the right moves was with these acts. Yeah. Because what album is Beyonce going to make at this point? Another four? Like, we know she makes incredible pop music and R&B music. Mm -hmm. What would be a reason for Beyonce to get back in the booth? All right, Lion King soundtrack, cool. She's never done a soundtrack. That's a check off. I can now get into my Afrobeats bag. Like, I can experiment here. Mm -hmm. Let's do three acts. First one's going to be dance. I've never done that. I have a lot of gay fans. It's giving her a reason to get in and actually be relatable and push her career forward. Because wow. after you do wow. like Satisfying four- and all different t parts of her fan bases. Yeah. Mm. Like if you went, all right, four would be the peak, I think, of the Beyonce pop time. Mm -hmm. Then she got into the Beyonce self-titled album, which to me was like her grown woman. Don't look at me like I'm old. I can still do sexy shit even when you're married. Like mm -hmm. it was a good album for, for that type of woman. Mm -hmm. Lemonade obviously gave her a reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, the elevator. When life hands you lemons. Yeah. She's- Continuing to classic. find ways as a legacy act to make albums for her fans that push her career forward, mm -hmm. which I think so many people struggle with, especially older rappers. Because again, I don't want to hear people talk about how much richer they are than us. Right. Like that's not a thing. So I think she's handled her second half of her career better than any artist I can think of, period. Mm -hmm. That's including the mics. That's including everybody. Mm -hmm. She's handled it the best. I do like this. I'm with Damaris. It, it's definitely going to take a while if you don't have a trained fucking music gear, myself included, to really get everything. Mm -hmm. But they do dumb down country music in a good way for the casual fan yes. that doesn't like country. You make yeah. it palatable. Yeah, like it is very much current pop just with country elements in it. So yeah. you're, you're not like just thrown into a country album and you're forced to like it because it's Beyonce's voice. Mm -hmm. It feels like a Beyonce album. And... I, I enjoy it. I think I'll probably listen to this one more than I will to Renaissance, but that's just based off what I do in my day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Like, only complaint with the acts. And I don't know if it's a complaint necessarily. Every Beyonce album I can listen to top to bottom, but I can pick songs that I love. Like, y'all just want to go listen to this Beyonce song real quick. Mm -hmm. Act one, Renaissance, and act two, Cowboy Carter. I have to listen from the top to the bottom. There's it's not like experience. songs that I... I'm like, yo, I have to go listen to this. Or I can start the project here. Yeah. You kind of, you have to listen to it from top to bottom. So she's, I think, I think it's safe to say that this is the closest we'll ever get to Mike. Yeah. As far as artistry, as far as talent, yeah. as far as star power, as far as presence, as far as impact. I don't think that we'll see anybody. I mean, I know, you know, I know the Swifties want to throw the hat in the conversation, but... What Beyonce is doing and, and her talent level is just on a different level. I well, think artist, artistry wise. Well, According, with the mic thing, choreography is super important. And Beyonce is... Well, that's part of being That's where the Swifties kind of have to... Part of being an artist is your performance. I respect you perform. it's Taylor Swift's show. musical ability. I respect her star power. I respect her sales. I respect her music. But she doesn't have that last one that Mike and Beyonce have as far as choreography in a show. Like, show performance. And the ability to, to sing. We used to, okay, sorry. Well, not, my, not my cup my of tea, bad. but I know plenty of people that think Taylor Swift can sing. No, she can't sing. She can't sing. There is a... It's sing no, and sing. Beyonce she can't sing. Can't sing. Is it, can't sing. A, uh, come on now. Beyonce can sing. And that's not a knock to Taylor. Miley can I'm a, sing. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> Miley Taylor went crazy fan. on this. Yep. What did I tell you, Damaris? You liked it? I, I was thinking about you when I listened to it. Levi when I saw Jean. Post Malone on the feature list, I was like... That's good. I'm like, do I really want to hear this? But I know I'm going to end up fucking liking it. 
That shit was on repeat. Yeah. That Post Malone record is so good. Somebody <laughs> said it sounded like she made Post Malone shower before he got the booth with him. That's crazy. Well, sometimes well, first thing when I was in the car, I was like, okay, Post. <laughs> so what one do you think, um, which one do you think is going to be the song that cleans up um, for awards? I think it's going to be between Yaya and the Miley collab. Yeah, I was going to go with the Miley collab just because of the names, but... You're saying cleans up in the country music awards or cleans up like Grammys, Just Billboard? Just period. Cleans up, period. Fuck the country music awards. Just period. Cleans up. I'm going to go with, with Yaya and um, that Two Hands to Heaven is one of the greatest songs I've heard in a very long time. That's probably my favorite record on here. Um, Yaya to me, remember when we came in here and I was like, Texas Hold'em to me was a little too cheesy country. Mm -hmm. I would have preferred her put Yaya in that two pack with 16 carriages. I get what you're saying. Like Texas Hold'em... It's cool in the sequence, but it is still like I like it more. It's a on little the album. too like I feel like I'm at like a a resort that does like the country theme, like it it comes across like fake, like Saddle Ranch. Pretty yes, like pretty <laughs> oh, much. They gotta play that at Saddle, Saddle Ranch. Ranch. Um, Gimmicky country. Yeah, I think I'm with you on Yaya and the what's the name of the Miley record? Two most wanted. Yeah, that record is hard. That 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 record draws some emotion. Like a lot of these songs on here drew some emotion out of me. Daughter did. Um, obviously, sixteen carriages is still one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. Um, Two hands to heaven. Um, Two hands to heaven. I like that name. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful song. Do you think they maybe lean into like Tyrant or some of the covers? Just to have that moment at the award show, Jolene. Yeah, like I'm not a fan of the Jolene cover. Um, I love what Glorilla said. Jolene should have got shot. I would have shot. I would have shot Jolene. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, Glow. Jolene's have been shot. Period. How did all right, How did you feel on some messy moment mm -hmm. in the beginning of Jolene when she was like, "I I heard you talk about the girl with the." What you saying, uh, lemonade? Uh, uh, Becky with the good Becky hair. with the good hair. Let me tell you about one of my hoes. Mm -hmm. And then they get into Jolene because Jolene is Becky. With the Jolene hair. sound like that bitch. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. Jolene did sound like that bitch. Jolene sound like, like that you just bitch. lost. You just lost your man. Snatching niggas <laughs> up. What's happening? Dolly said Jolene beat her ass. She said Jolene beat her out her wig. <laughs> I like that. I like when you could tell that story. A lot of people bury that. Like I so got Jolene's my ass a real beat. person. I Apparently, think she's yeah. based on a... Oh, uh, yeah. Something that happened to Dolly Parton. Mm -hmm. um, Damn. But no, I think it's a good album that people should give a bunch of listens because there's a lot of shit in there. I like it's a lot, it. It's a lot I'm going to gonna listen to it. I'm not a Beyonce guy traditionally, um, but for this, I was curious to see how she would like uh, bend this genre. And it sounded good. I liked mm -hmm. it. I was cleaning the crib Saturday morning, played it straight through. It's long. It's a lot of music, but there, I liked it a lot. So, um, so play it while you clean. It's just, it's yeah, just, it's I knew if I didn't do it then, I wouldn't listen to it at another time. So yeah. I was just like watering my plants, sweeping up, like, you know, on my, uh, what's that guy's name on TikTok? Gerard. Gerard. Yeah, <laughs> you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I listened to it. I had a long road trip. I put it in headphones and like looked out the window at Lathered the scenery. Lathered my anal butter. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and then hit the streets. Yeah. <laughs> With the booty butter still. Because <laughs> you never know. You Trouble never know. Butter. You might just run into so something. So it's yeah. Tyler Gerard's Jolene? No. No. <laughs> No. Duh. Jolene is the bitch that takes your man. Tylene? Tylene. Tylene. Um, That's my little sister's name. Hi, shout out her. So act three, predictions. I know the rumors already are that it's an R&B album, like traditional r Actually, the predictions are that it's a rock and roll album. But I think she cool. covered more of that. I'm, you're saying you're cool, but I would, I, I would like Between Beyonce it. rock and roll more than Beyonce country. Surprise you. Do y'all see what cool. Beyonce is doing with all of these? All of these genres is originally black music. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. House, country, music, yeah. The music is just black. And she's also, um, you know, she really got into her ancestral shit and don't, doing her research on her own family and dedicating it to it, dedicating her music to that. And I think that is beautiful. They have the Blackbird cover on there, which was originally a Beatles song um, mm -hmm. about the Little Rock Nine, if I'm not mistaken. So... <clears throat> Yo, it was it was well put together. If this was a, I'm, I'm looking at the rumors for uh, for Act Three. If it were a jazz album, I'd be very interested in that. We mm. know her I vocals over jazz would be great. Mm. This isn't a uh, like rumor, but everyone on Twitter was like, I don't know, she's been kind of getting some rap verses off in the last five to seven years. What if B gives us just like a boom bap? 
Straight boom bap album. Boom bap. J- Jay writes all the, <laughs> the verses. Uh, listen, I'm. I, it sounds far fetched. It, uh, yeah, but it does. But I mean, does it? It's it's. If anybody could execute it, it's Beyonce. Jay and Meek. Meek. Jay and Meek would write it. Who? Meek. She has enough right. rollies. Yeah, uh, like I don't, I don't think <laughs> she's been in Miami. I got his <laughs> joke. It didn't land, but I got his joke. Um, it's callback. But I, I'm thinking alternative. I was gonna. My guess is more neo soul. I can see her doing a neo soul album. She smoked traditional R and B already. So she gave she's never us, done, given us a full R and B dance, dance country, country. Neo yeah, soul. I, I think the theme of the first two acts, and correct me if I'm wrong, like it, they're so. This is Act Three. Yeah, but this, like dance and country is so polarizing, and they're so we know what those sound like. If it was like neo soul, I think that's too ambiguous. Like I think it has to be a bigger. You know what I mean? I, like it hits I think because she's head gone genre. so left with what we expect from her that I think doing something she hasn't done but still from the roots of her music before, like I think she gives us similar to A Seat at the Table. Like that type of R&B. I think it's jazz R&B. It would I would to, love I'm thinking about jazz. country, yeah, Neil Soul dance, is, country dance. I don't know if I want to. I mean, I'll take a Beyonce rock and roll album, but if I have to pick between a R&B or Neil Soul album, I'd rather that. But like, I mean, of course, yeah. but also you would do that over the dance and you would have did that over the country. No, I, I was really excited to hear what a country Beyonce album sounded like. I love Daddy's Lessons. I, I was excited for this. But now that you've gotten both those out the way, I would like another album that's more traditional in your roots. Do but you, it, to experiment, because before she was similar to like where we give Drake flack of like, damn, I wish I could just get an R&B Beyonce album. But she has to feed so many fan bases. We have to get pop. We have to get like we have to get all that in four in the self titled album. If you could give me ten me myself and eyes, I would be ecstatic. I know she's not going to do that, but yeah, <clears throat> she hasn't given us a a real straight R and B album. But if she goes rock, you know we're going to get a bunch of Prince type records, which I'm cool with. I'd like Beyonce to get in her Prince bag. That's the only rock and roll I'd like to see from B. You don't want Willow rock and roll. I'm not mad at Willow's rock and roll. I just wouldn't want that from Beyonce. Okay. I want that from Willow. Mm. Okay. But yeah, I like I, I don't don't give me a, a kiss cover from, from Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. She would eat it though. Of course she would. Oh, she's gonna she's gonna make it her own for sure. But I don't know. I just it, think that I, it would be nice for her to steal the Led Zeppelin songs that they stole from black artists. She should just do a, a cover of all Led Zeppelin songs for the rock Beyonce. That's interesting. Because, I mean, they stole all those records. Do you guys That's believe the rumors that the three, the acts are kind of like a show? Like, act three is the end. Like, this is the end of Beyonce as an artist, as a recording artist. I think for a, a long time, yeah. She just put out act three, right? No, she no, just put out act two. two. Oh. Act three is coming. Act three is supposed to be the last one? Yes. Mm-hmm. What was the gap between uh, act one and two? A year. I was going to say they were quick, right? Years. Yeah, because it was Renaissance and then uh, Cowboy Carter. When did Renaissance drop size? It's kind of what I'm asking. Like Renaissance is a year. Last year, right? Two years. It feels like last year because of the tour, which uh, took up yes, yes. the world. But I think <clears throat> it was two years or at least a year and a half. Well, Julian yeah. has a laptop. He could actually look it up right now. That's true. He could do that. Um, I won't. It's cool. Um, not, not to do I, a callback <laughs> to like further prove my point, though. But it is crazy that Beyonce finished a country album while she was on her dance album tour, which well, I think the, took the, a lot the, out of her every single night but still finish that and Drake can't do a diss record well I mean I get what you're saying but to be fair Cowboy Cowboy Carter was recorded before Renaissance she she said it took five years to make but there's no way she wasn't cleaning that up yeah I'm sure she she cleaned up a little bit she said it was done before Renaissance but she dropped Renaissance first because of the pandemic and people wanted to dance and this album is more um, it gets you in your feels more than Renaissance Uh, it definitely gets you in your feels yeah Mm. it was a very emotional album country Um, is like that anyway though as a genre yeah. Um, listen, the, the whites can get emotional too. They we love, do. We love our pickup trucks and our golden retrievers. And shout out to Tanner, Adele, and the other black artists who are credited on this album. The other black country artists. Shibuzi, all of them who are credited on this What album. is the uh, the girl's name? What's her name? Ty? Ty? Oh. Um, what's the girl? I don't name? want to mess it up. From Beyonce's album? Yeah. Oh. Well, she's an artist or so, but um, I follow her on Graham. And I follow her. Tierra Kennedy? Tierra Kennedy. Yeah. Um, I follow her, but I was like, damn, like she's dope. Like she's country. And to find out that she was actually on Beyonce's album was dope. 
I was like, that's a good, that's an amazing look for her. So shout out to her. And I think it's cool that she still had people like the Dream, yeah, on here. Pharrell, <clears throat> uh, Dixon had credits. Shout out to Dixon. No ID. No ID. Like, yeah. Swiss beats. Raphael Sadiq. Like I think that's cool too. Hit boy. Da got that dope. Yes, yeah, this, this was cool. I, I encourage people that may think that it's not really their type of thing to give it a chance because I I'm not a country fan and I loved it so. I'm going to definitely check it out. This you is should. Beyonce. This is one of the greatest artists that we've ever had, will ever have. So um, anytime an artist like this puts something out, I think as the culture, we all have to take it in. And if we like it, cool. If not, cool. But I think we do have to listen to it, though. This is this is the, the best of the best. I'm telling everyone. I mean, I know the bootleggers don't really listen to our podcast, but every guy that sells <laughs> umbrellas, the moment it starts raining, they just pop out of nowhere. You're like, how would you have umbrellas ready mm -hmm. in Times Square? Get your fucking cowboy hats, assless yeah. chaps. Get it ready for when this tour is announced. What they said Friday, she's <laughs> supposed to announce it. You don't know. The women are. I'm. I can't wait for that. See, Beyonce would have. Really I want to see all the girls dressed up as, as cowgirls. She would have really took it there. She had a video with naked cowboy from uh, Times Square. Mm. She throw him in the video. I don't want to. Is that guy alive? <laughs> Still? Probably not. I think so. I think no. naked cowboy is. Well, he's not. He a, spent like rolling. 20 years. I don't know if he's active still. 20 degree weather. Ass naked. I feel like that takes a toll on the body. He's a lot. He's 53. Shout out to Nick. Oh, wow. Cowboy. All right. Shout out to Nick Cowboy. You a hater, Roy? I'm not a hater. I've, I've seen him. <laughs> I from, didn't, if you've been in Manhattan, times. you've seen him. Like, you have no choice he's but from, I've been to his shows. He's from uh, Cincinnati. <laughs> he probably makes a shit ton of money. For sure. Tax free, too. Where does he keep the cash, though? Mm. He's got to have like a manager like next to him to collect the money, right? Oh, he probably, you know, cash app Zell now. True. Where does he keep the phone? <laughs> oh, you know where he keeps the phone. You know what? Boops it. He has the booty butter. <laughs> like, he, okay, then. Shout out to booty. Use, use promo code Rory, R-O-R-Y. <laughs> You've never spelled my name before. Don't do that. You've never spelled my name before. <laughs> Get 30% off your next bottle of booty butter. <laughs> That's hilarious. I know um, we um track a lot of trends on this podcast because that's kind of like our job. Why don't we invest in the trends that we see coming? Like I thought about that. I like like booty butter. No, not uh, booty what trend butter. did you see? Like how you said you told all the guys on the corners who sell the umbrellas to get your cowboy hats ready. We knew Beyonce was dropping a country album the moment even before she announced it. When we started guesstimating about that, why didn't we put our money into shit like that? I put all my money into leather goods. Yeah, you're not wrong. I don't know. And just so many other trends that we see, like we, we are, have our, our neck on the culture, our foot on the culture, whatever, however that saying goes. Yeah, Why don't we? Now, now that I think about that more, we found out it was a country album when we were in Mexico in 2021 <laughs> or some shit. Like, why don't. <laughs> yeah, but okay. We could have, we, we could have manufactured an entire merch department bootleg for her. Mm -hmm. Sat outside what, every arena. <laughs> yeah. It's Easy money. Bad. I know we're joking and we're laughing about it, but like that happens with so many things in hip hop and pop because hip hop sets the tone for everything. And we just like, oh yeah, this is coming. This is about to be a new trend. Oh, by the way, this is going to be song of the summer and we don't do shit about it. We should do more insider trading with merch. No, I agree. You? That's what Dave Portnoy does so well. That's true. Damn, why you put that on Dave's show? No, it's not. It's not oh, okay. Not legal, yeah. Oh, legally. Okay. Yeah. Very legal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very legal. I don't think he has uh, any grounds to do anything illegal the way the spotlight is on him. Um, speaking of sports, though, tonight, woo -woo, big game. I'm hype. Battle of the races. If, if you're listening to Andrew this now. Reese, Caitlin Clark, round two. The game is, the game is already over, so and sorry. UConn, but USC. Who do, who do you guys have winning? Predictions. I have... I have LSU. There, I was arguing with uh, my friend over this over the weekend. Iowa has Caitlin Clark. That's it. The team sucks. LSU is a better the team. LSU, sucks. they're it, the number one team in yeah, the country. They definitely the don't team suck. Team is not good. Those the other girls on the team. You are can't not say good. a team that's the number one team in the country sucks. Bro. Caitlin what are you talking is about? so good. All right, that so stop right there. You can't up. say the team sucks. So this is. Let me finish the point. The 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 point is like when you match when you start looking man to man like match up down the down the rosters. LSU outmans Iowa. It's not even close. Outside of the Caitlin Clark mismatch, 
their big is better than Iowa's. Their guards better than Iowa's. The bench players are did better you, than Iowa's. Did you watch the playoffs, NBA playoffs in 2001 with the 76ers when Allen Iverson and fucking Aaron McKee and Eric Snow beat Vince Carter, Ray Allen? <laughs> who else? No, I know. Who else know. did they beat? Them? I know it can happen. If you have one superstar and a, a like good role players around you, you can. Win. Iowa can win this game if those role players play their very good game. I think LSU is a better team. I still think Iowa's going to win. I think that Caitlin Clark had this uh, potential matchup circled mm-hmm. on her calendar since last year. Couldn't wait. Um, I love LSU. I'm rooting for LSU. Andrew Reese. I'm rooting for LSU. I'm not going to put my money on LSU, though. Okay. Um, which you right What there. about uh, UConn, USC? I think they, they split it. LSU got the first one. <clears throat> I think Iowa I think I think all of these I think all of these teams are I don't think that any of them are going to be able to beat Juju and USC I think USC is going to win it all really yeah I love that she's doing commercials too now yeah I think I think Juju is this is the stage she was made for and I think <sighs> that um she's enjoying everybody paying attention to Iowa and USC obviously I think they handle business with UConn Juju gets the national championship stage and I think she shows why I don't yeah, know. The, the, the new generation. I'm a lifelong UConn fan. I know this sounds like wild corny, but like my my dad and my brother and I, we obsessed over UConn women's basketball because they were the only good program mm-hmm. like in early 2000s, like the Diana Taurasi, Sue Bird days. What do you think about the Rutgers team back in the day? <laughs> Didn't care at all. We would just watch Did UConn you, beat What'd you guys 50. refer to them as? Sluts, no. Uh, <laughs> that's worse than I think. Yeah, that's no, worse than what I miss. Yeah, Don I miss was crazy. That well, was no, crazy. he said hoes and then a, a, another oh, derogatory. They, term. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. But uh, but UConn, they have I, Paige Beckers. I know everyone's like in this Caitlin Clark frenzy. Paige Beckers. By the way, there's also been other good women's program. UConn dominated for yeah, our yeah, whole no, life. But yeah, this is the but this is the first year where it's like across the board. Like this is, the tournament is so exciting. These matches have been great. But Paige Beckers like had a career of that career season ending injury last year missed the whole you know show the dance the playoffs everything and she's back this year she's kicking ass in tournament like i love Paige, and knowing juju's a freshman i want Paige to have this moment i want uconn to win because i think juju will take care of business the rest of her <laughs> career at her time at usc but i'm rooting for uconn in that game okay Paige well, is incredible i got uh i have usc winning it all no matter what but I do think Iowa beats LSU, but I I want LSU to win. I want to see Angel Reese uh, at the championship level again. Um, but we'll see. Did you guys watch any men's basketball yesterday? NC State Duke? Yeah. That was a that big guy on uh DJ. See, this Jesus. is why this is why I love that they are now paying the athletes. Because DJ is gonna get his value and his money. I'm not saying this in a hating way. I, how he plays, I don't know if he's built for the NBA. Yeah. He's a he's a big dude. Like, he's got great footwork. He's dominant and great for NCAA basketball. Yeah. He kind of like, plays like Glenn Davis. He's yeah, he's big baby. He's he's a little more agile than uh Glenn Davis, but I'm happy now he's getting this moment. And after last night's game, he's gonna be in commercials all this week. Yeah. He's gonna get his bags. I've loved mm-hmm. watching these guys that hit big shots in the Sweet 16 doing TurboTax ads on their Twitter. Mm-hmm. Like, I like that people that may not go to the league are having their stardom get its value for what it is right now. He's going to get paid. And as he fucking oh, should, sure. instead of having some huge college career and then maybe not the, the body pause. That move was to, crazy. To go to the league. Mm-hmm. Like, the moves he makes, it's, it'll be a little different in the NBA <laughs> of how he plays ball. But uh, And the know. whole country's rooting for him. I, I think he's great. Yeah, he he reminds and it's always me, great to see Duke lose. He reminds me of Zach Randolph a little bit. Got a little Zach, you can tell he because he just looks like him. No, he plays. He's lefty. He can shoot it. He can put it on the floor. He can post up. Like he can play. He he no, has, he has a he skill can set. ball. Yeah, he's not just a big body. He has a skill set. That's what I'm saying. He's agile. His footwork is crazy. I just don't know if that's going to work <laughs> in the NBA the same way. I mean, we'll see. He's going to get his value and money from this. Oh no, and that's, what, a, that's what I'm happy about. He's big man on campus now. This is like he's. It's nice to see that he's going to get more than just some pussy from some college girls mm, out of this run. True. Like he's going to get some money that he fucking deserves. Yeah. So, I, but that I, game, that yeah. game was great. I got you. I don't even hate Duke. I think I hate Duke of fans. You what? You got UConn winning all on both brackets, right? Well, I, I don't think they'll win the women's. I'd like them to. I think they're, they're by far the best team in the men's. I don't think it's close. Yeah. 
I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm going for it. Well, don't put that on me. Like I'm a fan of Connecticut. I don't give a fuck about Connecticut. I just, this oh. team is by far the but best. You said team you was all in on the Huskies. I thought that's what you just said. No, I'm not a fan of these guys. Just love, They're just a good team. I also love that Julian, his brother and his dad have been obsessed with the Yukon women's Husky team. <laughs> yeah. I'll call life. my dad. You guys, <laughs> not always, the men's no. team. You know, the men's is pretty good too. Like they, they won some, some national championships. Nah, the women's well. team has always been the more impressive team. What was the coach's name? Uh, uh, she was uh, goat. Gino Ariyama. Ariyama. Yeah. She, he. She could, she could go to league. Who? The UConn's women coach. He. He. Gino was a he. Gino's Who was the man. girl woman coach? Oh, Pat Summit. Thank you. You're Pat talking Summit. about Tennessee. 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 Summit I'm passed sorry. away about 15 She years passed ago. away. Yeah. I was asking like back in the day. 2016. Oh, okay. That's what I was, she I was always saying, had the I cleanest. I wasn't currently. <laughs> her suits. She always had the cleanest suits. I love. This was the she golden was a era. She was Oh yeah, that was uh I love this era of women's basketball. It was great. She coached uh, Candace Parker. That was Cheryl Swoops time. Yeah. Showing your age. Cheryl Swoops, yeah. Candace Parker. Look at her. She cleaned up. Um, before we get to voicemails, final men's predictions. Win it all. I got I got UConn winning it all. Mr. Husky. Yeah. I, UConn, I can't man. even see they're the best team. Yeah. Um I'm going for NC State. I know it's a shot in the dark, but they're just a fun think, team to watch. I think they're gonna beat Purdue, but I don't think they beat I don't know UConn. Oh, uh, that big that big dude on Purdue, he, he, he had forty last game. Man, DJ going listen, come out here to this perimeter. Let That's a jab, good matchup. Let me jab step your big seven foot ass to death and watch you fucking <laughs> blow a blow a tire trying to get back on defense. Zach, I, lo- I love DJ's uh, pops too, and of course they said like halfway through the game because they kept showing his dad celebrating. Mm-hmm. He's like, his dad is a correctional officer. So I was like, of course he is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he looks just like a correctional officer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> voicemails. Uh, before we get to voicemails, Damaris just pulled something up real quick. Oh, shit. Like that is the number one song on Billboard, baby. But we knew that was going to happen, no? It was number one last week. That is crazy two weeks in a row. But yeah, no. You could de- debut at number one and then fall. Like that happens a lot with songs that are hyped for a second. No, what I'm saying it was number one last week. Staying power, gotta respond. Thanks, Drake. Can Let's I actually do voicemail? Some, can I actually do some hater <laughs> shit real quick before voicemails? Go ahead. I don't hater. like to see Chloe and Gunner together. She didn't hold him down when he was locked up. Now she wants to spin the block that he's out and he's in shape. He's taking that diabetes oh, medication. They're, they're, he's fucking making great us. music Epic on him. He's working out. <laughs> then they, are they back together? They they were never together. Oh. They went to a basketball game together. That means they're together. They go together. Yeah. <laughs> they, it was. They were advertising their song. She didn't wear one free Gunna t-shirt. Mm. Not one. She ain't say three. Even Eminem wore a free Yayo shirt. Th- she ain't never tweet three to guy. <laughs> Not one. Three, three, three him. him till it's backwards. Three him till it's backwards. She ain't never tweet that. Never. I think she unfollowed when Lil Baby did. Because she she thought she was 10 toes. <laughs> <laughs> she thought he snitched. It's so annoying, yo. I just don't like it. She didn't support him. By the way, that Cardi B song hits different in the club. I was in the club. Okay. Heard it. Every hit song. Hits I, I like the song, the so I, I we like gotta stop doing that. Every song hits different. Every in the club. song yeah. don't hit different. You drunk in the club. when you ha- off a half a yeah, bottle like of Casamigos. Yeah, but Every that's the point of those songs. The are, they should hit when you're. They're for drunk people. Like that's not big a party drink. records are. Like that's gonna hit crazy when you're drunk at the club. No, it, but it hits without the club. So I'm. Saying. You're gonna start saying ah like in the club or you whatever. Really want to do that? What does he say? Bum. How'd you make it Irish? Like. How'd you make it Irish? How'd you take a beautiful hip hop song and make it your own? I just think it's funny he he said that in a diss record. Bum. No, not well, bum and that ad lib. His aw ad lib. That nigga said dis belly mel if I have to. Aw. <laughs> ah. I'm actually shocked out of all the people to reply. Fuck Drake. Melly Mel replies to anything. <laughs> you could sneeze wrong and Melly Mel is gonna do a full YouTube video about you. <laughs> Where that's has Melly Mel not replied yet? Melly Mel hate all of these new rappers. He hates everyone that's not him. Yeah, 100%. What was well, he the record? He just, he just dissed a rapper like last year. And I remember wanting to go laugh at his diss record, but it wasn't too bad. I think it was Eminem. Yeah, I think it was Eminem. Yeah, it was Eminem. Eminem will tear apart Melly Mel. I'm sorry. Come on, fam. We, we have to have that conversation. Melly Mel has it every year. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm cool. I'm not. Vlad and Melly and Melly Mel talk it. about Vlad it Melly every year. They talk about All it. All right, y'all got y'all the best, man. Did you guys fall for Eminem's April Fool's prank? I didn't even see it. How about that? Same. I'm gonna do you one better? I didn't. What he do? What he say? White ass algorithm. Some. I'm sure Eminem. <laughs> I'm sure Eminem doesn't even what know logic about this. Tweet? Whoever runs his Twitter put together like this this parody video 
that he was announcing uh, Infinite, which was his first album, Infinite 2 out everywhere now. And they like did this big epic trailer. And then they were like, April Fools. And we were like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> to, to go from a prank to a thank God he's not dropping more music. I don't know. Infinite 2, I might want to hear from Eminem. No, you don't. If he's rapping like that. Oh, shit. This is so stupid. And he's and it has the song Infinite playing in the background, mm. which is a great record. I didn't even know this happened. <laughs> but now, it's even more. Okay, this is funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. Infinite. Infinite level times two. Who thought this was real? Nobody. Oh. This was their April Fool's prank, though. This is the best April Fool's prank ever. That's why he's a goat. There you go. That's true. You know, Eminem's silly. <laughs> Yo, don't say nothing. Ew. Silly. Hey. That's nasty. Is he not silly? I don't know. Come on. He put his like butt cheeks on Tom Green's face in a video. He's silly. Oh, that was that was silly. Yeah. My bum is on your lips. My bum is on your lips. White humor. Yeah. That was very much white humor. Do we have voicemails? Uh, we do. You've got mail. Is it a, well, all right, what kind of voicemail? My, my note here for this one says how to navigate friends when someone in the crew doesn't fuck with you. Okay. okay. That's good. It's not a relationship one. Yeah, kind of is. <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> Right, what's Where going the fuck on, are you? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's funny because are you the this. friend that's trying to escape? Yeah. <laughs> I have a former friend uh, that I cut off for a couple of reasons. I don't really want to get into specifics so of why. Kind of? I might kind of give away who it is. Um, because randomly, I actually met Rory one time at this person's birthday dinner years ago. But anyway, I'm no longer friends with this person. Um, we originally met through a group of people. Um, and some of those people from our mutual circle are still friends with the person. And sometimes they invite me to events, whether it be like random party, a birthday event, whatever. And I kind of just been curving them because, to be honest, I, I just have no desire to be around him. You know what I'm saying? So my question is, how do y'all like navigate maintaining mutual friendships with a group of people if they're still friends with somebody that you no longer fuck with? And and I guess that can go for former friends or even a former partner or spouse where you guys have mutual friends. How do you navigate that after the breakup or separation? Mm. I like that. Ask, question. ask who all gonna be there. Who all gonna be there for show? And if that person's there, then you do something separate with them. If it's their birthday or something, like do your own birthday dinner. I'll take you out the next day. That would be the only way I could think. Now I'm just has my brain running of who this is. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I can't really give advice because now I'm trying to just run through the rolodex of birthday dinners. Hmm. I've met a lot of people at birthday dinners though, so I don't know. His voice sounds familiar too. He said it was a guy. When he initially said that, I thought it was a girl. But now, hmm. We all have a who all gonna be there friend though. Yeah. I got a I got a I got a friend that we don't see each other as much as we used to because he's cool with somebody that I don't fuck with. But we understand that though. Mm -hmm. Like yep. it's not, it's not, it's not no, it didn't put a strain on our relationship. He yeah. just know like why I don't come around. I feel like what's important is the reason why I fell out with this friend. True. Because if this, like, I have a friend or a, a former friend who we had a fallen out and it eventually got physical. This person disrespected me and put their hands on me. So now anybody who fucks with them still fucks with them. I can't fuck with you because there's no way you love me and you're running around the town with somebody who disrespected me. You, mm -hmm. you can't possibly love me because the people that I love, I can't even look at motherfuckers that disrespect them the same. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, once you show your character of how you act with one person, best believe they will eventually act that way with you. Like their character is their character. So once I see somebody's character is fucked up, whether they did some fucked up shit to me, I personally can't be around it. So I don't, I probably wouldn't even be able to be in the friend group like that. But if it, if it was over something petty, I mean, we could be in the same room together. It is what it is. Just don't, you know. No, I hit the I hit the kill switch on everybody. If it's like that level yeah. of disrespect, yeah, I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with nobody you cool with. Like, oh, like you're very good at that. <clears throat> Me? Oh, I'm the just what observationally. Oh my god, I I I I can go from being your best friend, and if if something crazy happens, it'll be like I never even met you yeah. in my life. I have that in me. Like that's 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 without a doubt. I've adopted some of that, but I feel like you are very like rigid and just because of certain lines. Again, as a, as as men, once you cross certain lines, you know that it, it has the potential to go somewhere 
where it's like, this is not going to be good. So I'd rather just completely cut all ties. We don't even go to the same places. In fact, my barber lets me know what time you come in. If we go on the same day, I don't even go to the, like, it's like that. Mm -hmm. Because as men, sometimes it can go yeah. to that level. With violence, yeah. Yeah. Should move that way. Mm -hmm. Like, but I don't know, groups of friends that are still friends with someone I don't fuck with, I don't go out of my way to hang out with them. But like, if I ran into somebody, I wouldn't particularly care. Like, I wouldn't go avoid somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't, my caring level has just kind of like dissolved over the past few years. Like, everyone's going to do whatever the fuck they want to do. Mm -hmm. That's what I've just You got to avoid That's them. what I've grown to learn that no matter what, everybody's going to do whatever the fuck they want to do. Mm -hmm. My expectations of people are extremely low now. And I don't mean that in like a depressing way. I actually mean that in a good way. Mm -hmm. I just don't have high expectations for everybody. But you have to develop that ability. I don't ability put that on people to, anymore because it's like for what? But you have to have that ability to avoid though. You oh have, no. You have to have that. I'm saying like in situations, if we're in a spot and it's small, like I'm not now going to change my whole night to figure out how not to like run into you. Yeah, I know. That. Like I, to me, that's like not care too much about it this depends shit. unless it's smoke. if it's I violence like then it's, if it's way vi different if it's on site yeah that's way i'm talking you know about what i'm saying but if i just don't like you it ain't if somebody don't fuck with friend is there and i know that friend and like we never had an issue i'll yeah. say i'll say what's up like i'm not going out my way to text you to go hang out mm -hmm. but if i run into you it's love i don't care what we're, we're not going to talk about that person what's up how you been cool all right peace <laughs> yeah it gets tricky though it does get tricky, especially the older you get. It's it's tougher, but very necessary to avoid when you can avoid any type of situation. If you know somebody's gonna be there that you don't fuck with, and you have the option to not be there, you have to learn how to not be there. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I get that, but also some stuff that I'm going to, no one else is gonna dictate me going to a place I was already gonna go to. Now, if I'm somewhere and you walk in and I don't fuck with you, I mean, I'm not leaving. That ain't. Because that just looks so, yeah, that nigga left. Nah, that ain't what happened. <laughs> in your movie, in your, in your movie that you're living, that's what happened. Yeah. Oh, no, in my I'm movie, In my movie, I avoided prison time. But see, that's in... <laughs> which is always, which is always, I'm always staying there the with priority. a bottle in my head. Yeah, that's always a priority. But I feel like learning what I've... As getting older, my most important lesson is that everybody is literally living their own movie. And like trying to dictate a reality out of everybody else's movie will have you all fucked up. Like, mm -hmm. just live your movie and in your head and let your perspective be your perspective and move how you want to move. But sometimes you got to slap the director, though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you got to slap that. the shit out the director. Do you? Yeah. No, I, like, I thought... So, so Jesus? Well, mm. depends the on... The government? <laughs> got to go to church. Depends on who you talk to. <laughs> Put hands on the priest yeah. before he puts hands on you. Mm. Mm. Thy rod and thy staff. You didn't Sir. have to point at me. I got the joke. Sir. Thy booty butter. If you are triggered by this person. <laughs> Making that joke and then pointing at me was the <laughs> sickest thing I've ever. Like, no, we, I got it. You didn't have to go like, yo, you know, I was like talking about you yeah, getting molested. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, sorry, that that was I'm sorry. That was, that was really unnecessary. Was like, the was joke, was, no, the joke was unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. The point <laughs> took it to no, a whole nother level. Good. We can all agree in the room. The joke was fantastic. I just, I gestured at Rory. <laughs> that was, by the way, that was such a Trump move. We can all agree that the joke was fantastic. Yeah, Look, all everyone, of us, everyone knows that Look, the joke was amazing. Drop a comment if you think the joke greatest is the greatest joke of all time. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is saying that that was the greatest joke. Yeah, yeah. It didn't even come out yet, but we know that was a hit. <laughs> my, my people are telling me yeah. more people have laughed at that joke than they've ever laughed at any other joke. Clip this in the entire Rory, world. <laughs> tell me how hard you laughed. No one I'm has made fun of wall. Rory's molestation. Hit rewind for a minute. Funnier than I have. Holy shit! I'm sorry. That's yeah but yeah homie just do your big one and if you don't want to be somewhere <laughs> if you don't want to be somewhere <laughs> Demar, don't be up. there shut the fuck up no I'm giving him good Demar, advice do your big one do your big one do whatever also, the fuck right. you want to do be wherever you want to be yeah. and if they there spit on them can I can spit I ask, on them? damn that's what? crazy can I ask him to around. reply back with who the person is we will not put that part out yes, at we all won't, we won't but again. we could revisit his question because I could have better advice if I know who it is and what that scenario is. We could actually have a full conversation about his real question. Mm. So call back with who it is, what birthday dinner it was. Rory just knows. Rory just wants to know which friend yeah, it is. He just knows. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, we could actually have a combo. Mm -hmm. about well, no, we it. had a combo about it. Yeah, but a follow up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love our follow up combos. I want people to always call back. We got another one? Yeah, we could do another one. This one's fun. This is uh, more relationship. I'm also nosy. 
Hey, what's going on, podcast? Uh, hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I have a quick story followed up by a question. Um, so to start it out, I was a side nigga for the first time um, not too long ago. Congrats. And, you know, I kind of just, I'm not typically that kind of person. I just honestly, I was going through some shit and, you know, whatever. I um, ended up hooking up with this chick and... Uh, so the very next day, um, she, you know, she calls me up. It was our first time hooking up. She calls me up. We're talking. And then she's like, you know, Hey, I, you know, I feel so bad. And I'm like, why? And she's like, you know, after you left, um, my boyfriend came over and ate me out like all night. And, and so like, I, still my I mouth. was like, yeah, I, I think we should be done here. And, you know, I was already like pretty hesitant about being in the situation in the first place, but that was just kind of the icing on the cake. So, you know, I cut it off. But I guess my what my question is, is has anybody ever done something to somebody else that made you question your relationship with them or cut them off because it was just so fucking foul? Um, So, yeah, that's that's my question. Um, Thanks for listening. See, that's how niggas end up on the 10 o'clock news. Yeah. See that's, what I'm saying? That's, that's demon, demon shit. Like when y'all see them carrying him out the building in handcuffs mm. and she's in four different suitcases. Okay. We got to, what happened? What did she do? Do you think oh, she, she, you think was, she showered? She him and then he came home and ate out right after she fucks mother. I'm going to, it doesn't sound like she showered. If you're doing that kind of move. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and think he wore a condom. So I think that how did you not like maybe taste the latex? Taste latex, yeah. Yo, taste the latex. This sounds like he sounds like a condom wearer to me. Crazy. Damn! Imagine eating out your girl and you start tasting some late. That's get the suitcases. Yeah. Out of all yeah. the excuses a girl could say though to like tell her man, I'm not condoning her cheating, but you're taking it to another level when you just don't stop your man from eating you out after another man was just pile driving you in that same place yeah man it's tough you know just striking oil and <laughs> striking oil he strikes me as a condom user because he doesn't want to be a side dude you know guys that are fine with being side dudes like myself back in the day you know we're no no condom people <laughs> she sounds like the whore that's definitely sucked him off to Oh yeah, oh, obviously. So she head. definitely made out with her boyfriend. If she's ha- if her boyfriend is eating out after she has sex with another dude, you think her moral compass is? But I didn't suck the other yeah. guy. And he might have said like some sick shit after he was ate her out. Like, yo, I want you to taste yourself and kissed her. Meanwhile, it's a it's a that's a three. It's a thruple. That's a ghost <laughs> thruple. Like that sounds like a double entendre. Don't even double ask dick her entendre. How? Yeah, how does she do? Mad, we should ask her. Mad dick in that room. He didn't even know. I want to ask her why, not how. Why would <laughs> she do dick that? Dick all in. Sorry, <laughs> you didn't even know it. <laughs> That's fucked up. Y'all laughing. Cheating now. is not moral, but I do feel like there is like <laughs> honor amongst thieves. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't no thief. I'm saying her like she should have had some. There's honor among whores, and she's not honor. honor amongst whores. Well, there's there's probably a whore. code. There's, there's probably like a nice yeah, core code. I think people whores. can cheat. Not. Ethically? Cheating correctly sounds fucked up because it sounds like cheating is okay. But you can at least cheat not ethically. like this. Cheating ethically means just using a condom. Among other things. Yeah, but I mean, more, eth- most importantly, weird, yeah, but using a condom. Not embarrassing. Weird. And like, go shower, like, clean so yourself. Y'all go get sat tested, here and told like, me you can't sell drugs with ethics. And y'all gonna tell me that you can Oh, here we go. Ethics? Two very different I things. I just said Aww. that you shouldn't put wow. the word ethics with you. No, I'm talking about him. His, oh, okay. his little soliloquy he just gave. <laughs> soliloquy. <laughs> Selling drugs. <laughs> First of all, no. I'm I'm just I'm here for sex. I'm here to fuck and then leave. That's it. I'm not. I don't okay, care. Somebody's hand, hand. Here. Somebody's here to sell drugs and go home. Drugs are so much more demonstrative. Like they do Is so it? much worse for the community. He might than kill me. this girl. Drugs will kill her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't That's have morals argument. and you putting bullshit in the drugs, yeah. See, sell drugs with morals. I feel so bad for that boyfriend. Why? You don't know him. You don't know that nigga? He could be worse. He could, he could have been be out cheating. the type of nigga that deserves that. He could be out cheating, so now we have another set of cheating. DNA in this. Yeah, if, if, I hope he was at out At this cheating. point, yeah, I hope he was out cheating. Yeah, I hope so. Honestly, at that point, then, uh, did he say his name? I don't want to say his name if not. Mm-mm. I don't think he said it. Then this gentleman is the victim out of the entire thing. Imagine if that dude was cheating, fucking his girl raw, and then he's fucking that dude's girl. 
with whoever the fuck he's fucking to. It's a whole pyramid scheme of STD. Oh. And here is the only single person just trying to get a nut off. I said his name. Believe his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's I don't. why I can't get with casual sex. You don't know who you fucking. You it's don't kinda, know who that's you're kinda, fucking. That, but that's kind of like the... What gets <laughs> the, the rush? Blood, yeah, that's what get, gets <laughs> that's the That's not the rush. Flowing. Like, I don't know who are you. You wake up and find out if it burns or not. Yeah. yeah I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go that far, but okay. I hate to sound like the corny, like, uh, as I got older person, because I was definitely running around nasty for a while. I, yeah, it's kind of fucking gross, casual sex. You really... I, you have no idea who... You're dealing. It depends. Like, it depends because if you're if you go if you're somewhere you're not even say you're not even out on that with that energy of trying to meet somebody, but mm -hmm. then you just happen to meet somebody. True. And y'all hit it off, and this person is great. You know, good person, level headed. You know, got a lot going for themselves. It's just a person that's a you you deem to be like this person seems like somebody has their shit together. If y'all hit it off. And, you know, at the end of that night of hanging out, end up, yo, you want to come upstairs, whatever, whatever, and have sex. I don't know if that's that crazy. If that because people no, have done that no, with people no, no, that no, they've no. met that's, casually. Right. That's not what, what we mean by casual sex. What we mean by casual sex is you are routinely having sex with someone who has not committed sexually to you. So y'all are routinely having sex with each other and other people. Y'all just running through a bunch of people. Yeah. Yeah, but Both I mean, parties. as long as the person is not, if the person's responsible. No, listen, no, no. I'm not shitting on casual you know sex. Who I'm gets saying in retrospect, it sounds kind of fucking You know who gets nasty. burned the most? Girls, you, you sit up here and you think, oh, this girl has her shit together. She has all this, 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 and that. And she fucks the wrong nigga who is fucking everybody else. Mm-hmm. And she's an idiot. Mm -hmm. Happens all the time. It has. Oh. Not, you can be the greatest person in the world. Well, yeah. Don't fuck idiots. It don't work mm. like it doesn't work like that, Ma. Sometimes. It don't work. Sometimes like that. you hit it off with idiots the first night, and you have sex, and then you realize they're an idiot a few days later. You could be smart and still no, get burned. I was gonna say, it's I don't just, think intelligence. It just happened. Yeah, like it she just happens. It just rub on. It happens. It bypass all that. Oh There's yeah, that. But uh, you letting the people yeah. know you can still get. Herpes through. I'm picking up this bar tab to throw a trash. They put can herpes on, on Doja Cat today. I feel I feel bad what? for celebrities. What? Oh, uh, like I wouldn't say a reputable Twitter source, but like a. Oh, I that, saw da that. Da Daily Loud. I'm not saying that they are by any means reputable at all. They've actually been doing a lot of bullshit lately, but they just put herpes on Doja Cat based off a fake meme that was being used for like April Fool's Day. Hmm. And then just like you can't April Fools a celebrity with herpes it because this, it's yeah. April first. Hmm. That's crazy. Like that. But that's <laughs> April Fools doesn't blur those lines. If you yourself want to put this out and say you have herpes and then go April Fools, that's your prerogative. Go ahead, but don't put that on someone else. So Doja tweeted those results. No. I forgot it was oh. April first. Oh yeah, because Doja. No, a, you know a, she's a, a queen troll. A Someone else blog platform that has a lot of followers. It was the, this was the original tweet, and this was this was a lie. And Daily Loud, they're full of shit, but still, like yeah, honor amongst thieves. Is that the herpes emoji? That's kind of cool. It it's looks like that bacteria. Germ, if you put German, <laughs> yeah. Which we don't <laughs> STD shame here. But we don't. No, yeah, actually, no. I'm fact, just saying. I was hoping all friend. of them were positive because that's how progressive I am. Hmm. You are progressive, Julie. What is the last one? My eyes are bad. Uh, syphilis. Syphilis. Okay. What is syphilis exactly? I don't know. Or do you want to know like the uh, symptoms? Like, what symptoms? it is like? I think you get like I didn't a, even know that was an STD. I there's thought like that a was bump like, or something, and then that goes away, and then like your feet fall off. What? <laughs> what? I Yo, thought that's like what? For isn't, that, isn't that kid, like kidney failure it's or like gout. diabetes? <laughs> like, that's yeah, called, that's called gout. I thought syphilis was like rickets. I didn't know it was an STD. <laughs> Dude, Demar's like Yo, it's your trench feet foot. Fall off. Yo, you know how crazy. I would never fuck nothing else if you told me, "Yo, it's some shit going around." If you catch it, your feet gonna fall See, off. See, that's how I feel about monkeypox. Monkey, I didn't want no. Smoke. Oh, syphilis is gross. Oh wow! Oh, it's very physical. Please. Again, we're not STD shaming. I just trigger, really didn't know what trigger warning. Was. No, I'm shaming that. That's fucking gross. You no. can't shame someone if. Well, it just looks gross. I'm not shaming the person. That There's sore of, looks gross. How people get? I'm sure people when they get these crazy STDs don't look at the person they're fucking and can clearly see they have that STD. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some of these motherfuckers is nasty. Though, There's you know? definitely some girls that be like, she probably has something. And yeah. I'm not going to do that, but yeah, I don't. I, all right, fine. I take it back. Plenty so of clean people have these these type of STDs. Mm. 
So you just get it from, why did I think syphilis was like something from the Great Depression? No. And syphilis, like is, one of those, syphilis is one of those that can kill you. And most people don't know that they have it for like, they don't, when you go to like the average clinic or doctor or whatever, they don't automatically test you for syphilis. Well, it's rare. That's good. You guys are lucky. You have to ask to be tested for HIV, syphilis, herpes. They don't automatically test for those things. You guys are lucky you said, give me the works. Yeah. Run the full panel. You've never done that? Yeah. Oh, okay. what? I was going to make sure. I have gone in plenty of times and asked for, asked for the, all the <clears throat> blood work without health insurance. Yeah, I, I paid. I paid that yeah, two fifty. You, fuck yo, you fuck somebody questionable, and you go into there and ask and ask your doctor for the works. Heart be like this. Ugh, I just had to the pay. Yo, I had somebody when people were playing on my phone, and like so my number was out there, or whatever. Some like two girls from like a block number kept calling me, and I answered finally, and they were like, "You have chlamydia," and I was like, "Mom, stop playing on my phone." Oh. That's funny. Not you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Is that you? No. I definitely, even though I wasn't like fucking a bunch of people at the time, I definitely went to the clinic that day. So if you're listening, whoever was playing on my phone, <laughs> you scared me enough. And I went and got the works. <laughs> Everything came back negative. <laughs> you were scared as a motherfucker. <laughs> you were scared. But I... There's been times where I was fucking a lot of people. I'm, I'm not saying that hasn't been a time. At that time when I got that call, I wasn't. So I was like, he was really confused. I was like, man, I'm just fucking girls bullshit playing my my number on Lipstick Alley or something. Fuck this. Yeah. All right, man. Let me just go double check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me go. Let me go make sure. That is a scary time, though. You, you fuck some questionable. You like, oh man, I, I'm never doing this again. Heart beating on your fucking chest. You tell yourself, okay. I'm getting married. I'm settling down. Fuck this shit. Or anytime, like one of your friends, like, oh her, yeah. Go get checked. Especially I'm, a nasty friend. Ugh. Oof. You too? Wait, you fucked? All right. Ugh. Nah. Terrified, bro. <laughs> Terrified. If she fucked you, I'm definitely getting tested. <laughs> so, All yeah. Right, well. Wear condoms. Uh, don't. Wear condoms. Syphilis is out there. <laughs> well. And I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on this weekend and do a deep dive into conspiracies on how STD started. Keep yo, that people. to yourself. We don't want to hear that. How did they, like out of nowhere? Watch Love is like, Blind. Like herpes just came out of nowhere? Because STDs didn't start to what, the 80s? No. That's like the newest disease no. ever. No. What are you talking about, bro? The Boy. newest disease is COVID. Yo, people bought them shits from across That was COVID-19. There, there was 18 before that. <laughs> it was 18. <laughs> Who said that? Who was that? It was a Fox journalist that said something. Did they really shit. say that? I was, it was actually a Fox joking. like uh, news reporter. Not knowing it started in 2019. That's yeah. why it was COVID-19. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Roy. Wow, you are grossly wrong. Uh, <laughs> the first, the first mentions of STDs were around 400 BC. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's the 80s. Yeah, that's close to the 80s. <laughs> what? There's no way exchanging body fluids like that would ever cause a bacteria to form. Yeah, definitely happened in the 80s. Yeah, because well, AIDS then. is new though. I, I was really joking around, I promise. But AIDS is new. Relatively new, yeah. 1980 in the world's history is extremely new. Mm-hmm. How did that start? The government. No, oh, we know how that started. Yeah. Same way cracked it. Exactly. Flood bacon, the hood. Bacon soda. Exactly. Oh. All right. Well, it's been another episode, another audio journey, another visual presentation for our, our viewing audience out there. Uh, NewRoryMall.com. Merch is available. Um, we will be announcing more shows in the coming weeks. Yep. Um, hopefully coming to a city near some of y'all soon. And... um. We'll talk to you in a couple of days. Enjoy H the rest of the week. HPV negative? You can't trust a girl that doesn't have HPV. They I'm don't even test for it. That's, like, that's like a virgin. I, I would never fuck a virgin, so I'd never fuck a girl mm. that doesn't have HPV. And that is the closing words from the Get Red check, Rocket Because I know it can cause cancer amongst women and it doesn't harm men. So it, it, is, it is an epidemic. I just feel like we all have. I'm that nigga. He's just Jen Jane. He's burning. Peace. You have HPV. Your gingers are burning. Keep, keep this hair. part. Rep. That's good. Maul has HPV. No, Rory and Ma. <laughs> <laughs>